So after finishing the run, I do have a few things I want to go over before we actually start up the run, before you watch the run and how it goes and all the strategies and all. Before we start, as you can see, we did this on European Extreme. We had about two hours left, so you'll have an extra two hours of time to do whatever you need to do, whether it's more sneaking, more material gathering, more time on the bosses, whatever. I saved 17 times, technically. Uh, one of those saves was the end game save, which is just before the final cutscenes and all. But you should have eight saves to plan out to do whatever you want to do. No continues, no alerts, no human skill, just basic fox and ranking stuff right there. We got injured a few times. We only took one life bar of damage. So don't worry about having to take under 10 life bars. It's not that hard to do. No life medicine used. We didn't eat a lot of meals, but it's fine. Most of what we ate was during the end fight for the obvious reasons. But we have the fox sound right here. Everything's all set. We're good to go. A few things to go over before we actually start this off is strategies that I do use throughout the video. And it's nothing advanced, nothing like, oh, you gotta time this to distract a guy here and then go. No, it's nothing stupid, ridiculous. It's just basic controls and using that little tricks here and there. So first thing to go over is the quick reload. Now this, believe it or not, is actually in the game manual. If you double tap the R2 button, which is the back R button, I don't know if, I think it's RT on Xbox, or RB, the right bump, the one in the back, um, the R2 on PlayStation. If you double tap that, it'll quick reload for you, right? So that quick reload is going to help you throughout most of this. It's really basic, really easy to get down. It's just whenever you're aiming or whenever you have a gun out, double tap R2 and it'll refill your ammo without you having to go through the reload animation, which is useful and necessary for some parts of this. Not a hard thing. It's really just basic. Just double tap R2 and you're good. And the other thing we did use was the silent walking right so there's a i guess trick kind of thing you can use in the game where when you run by enemies normally you make footsteps right but if you use this you don't make any footsteps and they can't hear you as you run by them no matter how close or how far you are away from them and the way you do that is you hold a grenade whether it's a stun a smoke a basic grenade whatever grenade you're holding you hold the grenade and you keep it in your hand as you walk so as that grenade is holding and you're walking by, no one can hear you walk. But you have to have the great grenade equipped and ready to throw, right? And if you want to just back out of the throw, just unequip the grenade before you throw it. So you do that by just holding square. If you're on Xbox, I think it's holding X. But you just hold the square button as you run by while holding a grenade. Those are the tricks we go through. Now, let's go ahead and get into the whole run. We're going to be playing this on I'm playing MGS for the first time to be able to give anyone, no matter what you clicked on the first time, the ability to get this on European Extreme. So I'm not using anything like that. If you have stuff like the, you know, this is a new game plus run and you have, you know, the Fears camo or the Ants camo or the Furious camo, it'll make your run a little bit easier than what I'll be showing. So it could make it even better for you. Now, because this is Foxhound, there's also certain requirements that have to be met. Those requirements are no special items, so that means no easy gun, no stealth camo, no infinity face paint, no kills, which is something that I'm sure everyone knew, no alerts, no life medicine, which is hard considering you're only getting that small little bar of health, no continues. So that basically means that if you die, you have to load your game. All right? You can't continue, you can't do anything like that. You gotta save under 25 times, which is why I'm trying to keep it 10-ish saved, so there's some room, some leeway for you. F under 5 hours of time, so I'm going for 3 to 3.5 three hours to finish this. So you at least have an hour if you take a little bit longer on some bosses or whatever and under 10 life bars of damage taken. So that part should kind of come no matter what you do. Uh, 
you might have to be a little bit careful on some bosses. I'm going to be showing easy ways to get through it. They might take a little bit of extra time, but, you know, should be safe, should keep you from going past those 10 bars. I It honestly should keep you around one, maybe two bars at most. Hopefully, if all goes well. And by doing this rank, you'll also be getting stuff like the Foxhound, or you'll get the Foxhound rank, but you'll also be getting stuff like the Infinity Face Paint and Stealth Camouflage, which I'm sure a lot of people like. Without further ado, let's get in this. I'm going to be explaining it as I play, showing off what needs to be done, where it needs to be done. Now, cutscenes do go into your in-game time, so be sure to skip them. You can't skip this first cutscene with Snake talking. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. But then again, who doesn't like hearing David Hayter voice Snake? So from here on, you skip everything, whatever anyone says, clicking the X button here, pressing the triangle in the cutscenes, or in the codec calls. That'll get you through there. Skip through here. Now, this is a beginner's guide, so I'm using easy strategies, not gonna be going into anything ridiculous. Now, you kind of just want to be fast in the beginning, don't lollygag or anything like that. So, start out by going and getting your backpack. Now, things you probably want to keep in mind. You're gonna want to keep an eye on your stamina towards the end fight, because that's a little bit of a harder fight to get. You kind of have to learn to track him. Um, the fear, you gotta make sure you keep a stun grenade till the fear fight. So always keep one on hand, because if you miss one, you're gonna really be regretting it. And skip through all this. Okay. Now this part shouldn't be too hard, because we haven't found any guards yet. Here we are with the alligators here. There's nothing really to worry about here. Just try not to get bit. <laughs> I know, you know, playing with the alligators is fun, but it's also dangerous. Alright, so when you get here, the easiest way to do it, yeah, you can just walk across, but you see this alligator right here? Just run across him, and then do a roll over here, and then run across this one too. They're not going to be able to hit you if you do it like that. So, you don't even have to worry about them. This is, if you want to, you won't need food here at all during the Virtuous mission. So, don't worry about trying to grab any food, trying to eat any of them. You know, I'm sure a snake would say they're tasty, but don't worry about it. Okay, so, first encounter with the enemies. Not really too much stress about right here. You want to just run up here. You can go ahead and shoot him now so he doesn't see you, but if he sees you right here and starts walking towards you, don't let him actually see you. Just line up your shot, shoot him in the head. If you are not the best shot, you can sit a little bit further back, take more time to aim carefully. Now, the best thing to do if you want to go easy here, just shoot this guy in the back of the head, but a little bit more of a quicker way to do this. Hold the gun out, run towards him, and... Just before he hears you, shoot the shot and dive roll into him. Like that. So that will knock him out. Make it really nice and easy for you. You can wait for this guy to just walk on by and get through here. Or you can go ahead and take him out too. Up to you. You can save a bullet. Not that it really matters here. This is just the virtuous mission. So here, it's only a couple guys best way to do it go right past this first bit of grass now it'll be right in front of you right here you see this little bit of yellow right here just shoot that knocks the beehive down this guy starts freaking out and he starts running this way stay a little bit behind him so that these guys back there don't see you or anything they see him running they follow and start running with him they're all staying away from the bees even makes the other guy or the guard over there doesn't look at you so it's completely safe to go now. They're going to run back into that area. You can go ahead and maybe look around if there's anything you want, but there's really nothing here on a Foxhound run. 
So these guys will go into this area, but they'll come back out if you take too long. So if you do plan on exploring or doing anything, be careful about that, because they will come back with a vengeance. Now, you don't really need to save during this run, or during this... No, you do need to save during this run. You don't need to save during this virtuous mission. It's only a couple minutes, five minutes really at most. The way you want to do this, you got to take out this guy immediately. Because he'll start walking the other way and it'll create all sorts of problems. Alright, next is this guy up here. Alright, you can get a little bit closer. But don't, oh. Don't let him see you. You want to line up the headshot. And then you have this last guy. Who is the most problematic. So those are the guys you got to worry about. The rest don't matter too much. So you run up here on this side and then hug this wall. Walk on by. Don't let anyone see you. And... Wait, be careful, because there's a guy over, oh, guy on this side who can see you. Now, go ahead, you can get on your tiptoes and line up this shot. It doesn't really matter, uh, as long as this guy, you know, is looking away when you go up here. Or not looking at all. Because you got to worry about a guy right here who will come and see you, because he pops out of the tree every now and then. So this guy kind of walks around, you can wait a little bit, you can be a little bit more... You know, risky. But he's down. Okay, someone almost saw a snake. Don't worry about it. You just go to this corner. You're set. And that's pretty much the end of the virtuous mission. Aside from some cutscenes here and there and then healing yourself up. Wasn't too bad. You know, nothing too big there. It's a nice, easy, simple start to the game. We get a nice little bit of taste of what we have going. So, just make sure you're careful about the guards. Now, if you want to go ahead and save right here, and then you want to pull out your knife and stab Ocelot a, little, Ocelot a little bit, you can go ahead and get that free trophy. But you have to save first, and then you have to load after you're done. If you're not going for that, or if you already have it, you're fine. Don't worry about it. But the trophy and achievements only on the HD edition. If you're on PS2, don't do that. Alright. So this cutscene. Let this one go by. There's nothing much to actually worry about here. You just heal yourself and you're set. You're up. Don't worry about over or accidentally using anything here. You're almost never going to actually use your cure menu aside for um, the very end with Eva. Oh my god. Okay. thought capture card wasn't recording. That no, would have been unfortunate. So, here's the first place that we're going to go ahead and save. And go ahead and... It's quick save. Nothing much going on here. It takes a really long time to save for some reason. But it's manageable. We got through the virtuous mission in... How long? <laughs> save times. This is the first of the saves, just so you don't, if you mess up next part, you don't have to go back and do anything. Okay, eight minutes for the Virtuous Mission. As much as I love that song, you kind of have to skip it here. You can always look at it in the menu, but you have to skip it here just Yesterday, to make sure you don't lose out on time. Okay. Honestly, if, you know, you aren't already at that part, you could just not save there and save a little bit later here. But it doesn't make much of a difference. It's just some walking. Okay. So, 
the upcoming part with the boss and all where you lose your gun is a little problematic, especially on here because it's really easy to get caught. You don't really need to change your camo or anything yet even. There's some snakes here that you can find if you want to get some quick food, like there is this pretty green one as paramedic describes it up here. It's a free snake, so why not? And here we are at this cutscene. Okay. Skip through here, and the moment that you're out of here, this you're gonna want to go and hide behind this tree I'm about to show you. So you hide behind this tree, and remember those stun grenades I was talking about. Make sure you have one saved for the fear, or... Actually, you can use them all now if you really need to. Now, when you're here, be sure you use L2 to peek out like this. When these guys come here and see, you just throw a grenade at their feet. Look away. And take him out. If one of them don't actually go get taken out, you just do that. Now, this one can also be problematic. I would recommend just using a stun grenade. It's easy. He's not going to see you if you... Okay, so with all of them out, it gets rid of the caution. That's why you want to take them out. Because if you don't take them out, you'll go into the next area with a caution going. And that is not something you want. It makes everything a lot harder. So. Okay, you want to take those guys out because if they're on caution, it makes this part a lot harder. Now when you get here, you want to stand about here. So that guy in the back over there will see you. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to want him to see you stand right here, right next to this part. Then when he's gone, he's going up those stairs, you can just run across the bridge. Without anyone actually catching you. Makes that part a lot easier, a lot nicer. Don't have to worry about that guy. But you have to have that one see you, otherwise he'll look at the bridge. And you don't want that. And I believe this next guy is... Yeah, he's down there. So you can just run on by in here. And you're pretty much set for a circle off. Okay. Well, not Sokolov, but you know what I mean. The Ocelot unit time. This part is going to be a little tricky. It's not that hard if you have a strategy set out. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it with all gun. Just only using the pistol, because that might be best just to show it. Okay. First thing first, though, go ahead. When you go in here, don't leave immediately. Grab these thermals, because you're going to need those for the end fight. Because we are fighting the end, because we can't take him out early. Okay, here's where your second save is going to be. If your paramedic tells you to get some sleep. Yes, save data. Now, I don't know if it's the amount of saves I have that makes my saves take a lot longer, but I believe the save, like, the menu time here also does count against you, so try not to spend a lot of time just waiting on a save screen, because everything's counting. Okay, and the saves are going to be in that next fight with the Ocelot unit. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do when this starts up, you've got to switch your gun. Because if you don't switch your gun, you're going to be shooting with the wrong gun. Okay, I know I said I was going to do this with just the gun, but we have one more stun grenade, which is going to make things a lot easier here. So you're going to want to go in this corner right here. Crouch down, turn over here, right? Press L2 and R2 so you can bounce up like that. Just get on your tiptoes. Stun grenade out. The moment all of them are there, uh, and I missed it. That's fine, as long as it's in that general area. Because it'll stun them long enough for you to go ahead, pull this out, pop them one at a time. Oh. Yep. There you go, that's all... Uh, there's one missing, there should be four. Here he is. Go ahead and pop him too. 
okay? If you aim that right a little bit lower than what I just did, you'll be able to go ahead and get possibly all four of them, if not at least three of them. You're only gonna need body shots here. You could possibly get all four of them. That there should be another guy here. I think that's him. Yep. Okay. That's those two down. They aren't down yet, but just wait a bit and it'll happen. Now this is probably gonna be the first time you're really gonna do much here with the camouflage. Go ahead and take out this guy. Actually, just to make things easier on yourself. If you, you know you want to aim a little bit nicer, a little bit better, go ahead and get these thermal goggles out. Thermals on, and right in his head. Now, I just to be careful because there's a guy on the roof who has the vision of a hawk. Go ahead and switch your camo. You might not have to, but go ahead and switch your at least your face paint to the woodland. A little bit of camo might save you. You never know when he just happens to be over there. Okay. He's gonna be on here in a sec. I believe. Yep, just him and the other two. Yep, there he is. Go ahead. Don't have to headshot. At least a body shot. Then crawl your way over here. Just for now. While he's up, you wanna be low. Be careful. Go ahead and get those thermals on again. You see that guy all the way on that side right there, the yellow? Oh. Yep. There he goes. Uh, I don't think that guy's knocked out yet. Now he is, okay. So, there's just this last guy all over at this very corner. You see him right there? Right in the middle over there? Okay. Be careful. Yep, there he is. L2 and R2 for tiptoes. Always remember that. And he's done. You're good to go. You're finished the whole Ocelot unit part. Wasn't too hard. You just have to follow that and you're set. There are quicker ways to do it, of course, but they are a little bit harder. So, for now, I guess it works. Get that cutscene with Ocelot. And you're good to go. Now, there is the cardboard box up there. You don't need it. Uh, I messed the thing up. Oh, oh. Okay, if you can roll better than I can, you can actually dive through the window. Snake. Okay. There we go. Okay. That was feeling real awkward there. Just move on through here. Nothing much to worry about. There are going to be some traps, and you will replenish your stun grenades from before. So, go ahead and get that. There is a coral snake somewhere here and a milk snake somewhere, somewhere here. One of those tastes good, one of those do not. Actually... I think they both might not taste good. Watch it for the alligators. You're gonna want to keep your health. You're gonna need your health. That you gotta keep that at full for now, because when that ocelot battle comes up, it's not gonna be easy. Go along this left side here. Go ahead and refill your ammo for your trank gun. Should be right here. Grenade bullets. You're not gonna need the grenade, actually. You might use it for the pain. Okay. Get through this call with Eva. Let's get through it. And up this tree. Instead of going this way, you want to go up this tree. Alright. And don't forget... Get those leeches off you. You don't need them sucking up your stamina. Just a cigar. Alright, and triangle to get off here, shimmy along here, and when you're above this branch right here, you see this line going out right here, you're going to press X to drop down and spam triangle so you catch the branch. If you aren't, you know, quick enough, you got to time it. 
So right here, and drop and spam triangle. You'll catch it, and you keep going along this way, and it refills your stamina gauge. Or your grip gauge, I mean. You just need enough to get to that croc cap over there. The croc cap is going to help you for after the pain battle. It'll let you swim through without getting detected by guards. And down we go. Get the croc cap. And go down here. Refill your stun nades. I believe it's a refill. It's, yep, three. You get those stun grenades and it'll help you out with the fear and any other two places. Okay, there's this trap right here. It's going to be a thing that comes down. Just, yeah. Ooh. Okay, don't let it hit you. It will take out a lot of your health and it'll make the Ocelot fight significantly harder. Okay. Now, if you save anywhere, this is one of the saves I recommend. Go ahead, call paramedic. Saving the game, Snake. Because this part has the dogs, and the dogs will see you if you aren't perfect here. Oh, you don't really have to be perfect. You just have to shoot the dogs with a trank gun. Don't kill them. Not a monster. Save. Okay, and when it's done saving, you're good to go. Just skip the conversation, paramedic. Keep going. Okay. Hey. And done. Can you believe snakes never heard of Godzilla? There's some mines here you want to watch out for. You should be fine if you just stick to the left. You can always equip the thermals if you're not sure where the mines are or the traps are. Okay. You see the dogs? You gotta avoid the dogs. Don't let them see you or you will get caught. When you get around here, go ahead, equip this, pop that dog, that dog. The guy is gonna have heard it, so you're gonna have to be a little bit quick here. Don't worry about it. He isn't the fastest, so you'll be fine. Go up this tree and just drop down right here. You can keep using the thermos to see where. Okay, so if you're quick enough, this guy isn't going to be coming here for a little bit. You'll have some time. Uh, yep. And pop him there. If, you know, you aren't quick enough, just hide behind here somewhere, like right here or something, or in here. Just make sure, lean out to your right with R2, and there you go. So just continue along the path for a bit. You're going to want to switch to the leaf camo for a second here. Camouflage, leaf doesn't seem like it's important right now, but when you get onto the greenery, it will be. Okay, crawl through here. Oh, can I crawl under this? Yes, I can. <laughs> crawl through there. You got these guards right here you're going to want to take out. Awesome. He didn't see anything. He's down. Line up shot, you have time. Or oh, unless they see that. And he woke him up. Don't waste your bullets. Okay, you got this guy coming in from the right over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this on. Okay. Stop staticking and be a lot nicer and easier, but nothing much we can do about that. There's another guard over there. Don't really have to watch out too much for him. Actually, yeah, and that you got to get rid of the caution because the caution will mess you up. Uh, okay, let me just. No, no, we're fine. Hold on. Uh, watch out for that dog there because the dog will mess with you if he sees you. 
Dog's turned around, I think. No, he's not. If you want to be careful, just... Down goes the dog. You're good to go. Nine bullets. We're in this next part. This next part isn't hard. Okay, so in the base here, it's really easy. You really don't have to worry about one, maybe two guards. Just go straight to the left. Follow this path. Nothing much to worry about here. This guy back here is the only thing. And... When you get close... Oh. There you go. You shoot him right there. And start crawling. You don't gotta worry about the caution or any of that. It's not gonna matter. Uh, as long as the reinforcements don't come through here. And they are coming through here. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> Just don't miss the shot and the caution won't happen. Here we are. We're on the ocelot part. It's a quick fight, but... First thing you want to do, every boss battle, you're going to want to go ahead and save. You going to save? Yes, I'm going to save paramedic. So, when you save, these are the other saves I recommend. More or less, it's maybe 2, 3 extra saves I have, all the bosses and the saves that they pretty much give you to save. Okay, so the onslaught fight, first thing you need to do immediately are two, okay? Switch to your trank gun, take the suppressor off, and you're gonna want to use the auto-aim using the square button, shoot onslaught in the back. As soon as you do that, he's gonna, gonna get distracted, take out your stun nade, toss it over, right in front of him, okay? You switch back to your other gun. Yep, that took out a lot. That's another free shot right there. If you got a headshot, would have been more. Just run. Don't get hit like I just did. Getting hit is bad for your health. You can use auto. Oh. You won't get away from me. He's right behind this one. As soon as you shoot him, run to this rock. Because that way he can't hit you. Because he isn't ricocheting it off anything. Do that, run to the rock. Oh. You fool! Careful about him doing that. Run to the rock. Not bad. Ah, when he does that, it's tough to deal with, but. Eh, behind the rock. Okay, he's reloading. When he's reloading, go ahead, pop him in the head. Or the hat. Shoot him in the head. He's one hit. Make sure you're reloaded. It's the last hit, it's the easiest hit. He's reloading his guns again. Just go ahead and grab some more ammo. easy shot in the back so the strategy with ocelot is to shoot him then run to the rock shoot him run to the rock that should keep you alive there okay here's where it's a little bit harder you get the animals outfit for tranking him now it's kind of hard and you know hard to see it's dark so let's say you're starting from this rock right here that we can all see okay I think you can stick to the right here, yeah. This here, and there should be a cave if you kept keep to the right. Keep him to the right, there should be this cave. Follow this cave, and it should lead you to a little passage. Or not, nope. But it does lead you to bullets and glowing mushrooms. There we go. You kind of need that little bit of time off here, because 
your health is a little bit low and the pain is one of the most frustrating boss fights at least on european extreme to me okay actually i think it's this place you gotta crawl into i could be wrong i don't think i'm wrong let's hope keep going up here so instead of sticking to the right you go to the right first and then go into the middle that's what this would be it should lead you to waterfally area now this part, it's not really anything about avoiding enemies or stuff like that. Yep, this is the right place you want to be. Okay. Just get up here, stick to the right, follow this path up here. It's really hard to see. I believe it's showing up better on the actual video than it is on my TV. So, do with that as you will. bug juice it's not really anything and here you are in the cave you don't really need to save don't worry about saving right after the ocelot fight you're not gonna get into any encounters unless you decide to go ahead and intentionally drown snake uh, okay go ahead pull out your knife Here's where you're going to want to get some meals really quick, because it's a nice place you can farm them up. So, get yourself some food for Snake, because as you see, his stamina is at half. Yours might be a little bit higher, a little bit lower, give or take. The crabs are really good for stamina, but they do go bad really quickly, so if you're not doing this in one sitting, you might just want to eat them. If you're doing this in like two, three sittings, it should be fine. It's just if you take like three, four days off between the run, the crabs will go bad. Right, and okay. Now, so you don't have to do it every time you, you know, load and all. Go ahead and eat something right now. There's a king cobra right here. Let's go ahead and eat this. Get to watch this nice video snake eating. Let's actually skip that because time. He says pretty tasty. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and just eat one more thing. Dang it, this works. Why is why Snake so quiet? Okay. Anyways, back to what we were doing. Snake just sounds really quiet for some reason. Uh. There's a shotgun here you can get on this side. It's not really useful for much. I mean, it'll help with the whole armor thing, but you really don't need it. Okay, now go ahead, and before we start this, go into your backpack. You're going to want to start equipping different things. Yeah, just equip the croc cap now so you don't have to go back in later. Okay, you're going to want the grenades and the smoke grenades. Take off the directional mic. And the rest of this should be fine. Uh, camouflage. If you have the Hornet Stripe outfit, use that. If not, just go ahead and pick whatever works. I think the black is fine for here. Uh, this should be good. The black, so you can kind of camouflage in the water. But if you have the Hornet Stripe, it helps with this fight a good bit avoiding the whole damage from his hornets and all okay skip this cutscene now first thing you need to do is save because this is the worst boss fight on this run going to save? the others kind of have a set thing they do that can help you Ocelot's probably going to be the second worst. This is going to be the worst. The fear, or the fury is going to be bad. The rush should be pretty fine. Okay, you're on here in how long? Whenever this saves, we'll see. Alright. 32 minutes to get here. Go ahead and skip this. 
You're gonna want to be kind of precise with these shots. If you're not, it's gonna be a little bit harder. But here's the idea here. Okay, the pain lives up to his name. He's a pain. Try and get a quick headshot and then dive in the water. You can go deep into the water here. If you don't get a headshot, it will be fine. It's not gonna change that much. You see how much health it actually took away. It's just nice to get that chip damage off. Yep. Tommy guy. See, he has a Tommy gun, but he can't actually hit you too well here. See? That's the point of being right back here. So, take your time, line up your shots. And... When he gets that B-armor on, I know it's annoying because you can't actually do anything to him above that grenade. Get in the water. Ah. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. He's gonna do a spin. Shoot him in the head. Okay. Not ideal, but... What really is. Shoot him in the head, and he's done. That's the first stage of the pain, done that quick. Okay, so the whole thing with that, use the nades to break the armor, aim for the head. Always aim for the head. And when he does a Tommy gun, you have that invincible god spot right there. Now, he should start with the bullet bees. Go ahead and get the stuff. And get down in here. Just hide in here. The bullet bees don't go in water. You'll fi you're fine. Okay, he's going to throw this up. And now get up on here. Because when he throws the nades, and if you're in the middle of this animation with Snake getting up, you have invincibility frames. So he's not going to be able to actually hurt you with those nades, whether they're on the land or in the water, if you're in the middle of the getting up animation. It gives you invincibility frames, sets you up against the nades if you don't shoot them out or something. Now, the other option is using this to go ahead and shoot at these nades like this. And if you shoot it out quick enough, it'll take out his own armor. Yep. Just like that. And then get a nice couple of headshots in. I don't like that. Okay. Let's throw in this. Go ahead and dive in. He's already low on health. You're fine. This part is annoying. That's why I recommend saving before bosses. Because the bosses can be tricky. Aside from the fear. The fear is the only one you don't really have to worry about. Though, I would still recommend it if you don't know the strategy too well. And he's... Oh. Okay, he throws the nade. If he finds you like that, like, half the time he'll throw a nade right at you. The other half, he's just gonna see I found him. It's up to you if you wanna actually do anything about that. See if he's in here. You can go ahead and get back up on here. Get this nade out and ready. Oh, it's actually perfect. Shoot him in the head. Pull up the nade. Throw the nade up there. It'll blow these off. The oh, okay, unless he does that. The smoke grenade will work just as well, but he's doing the bullet bee, so you're going to want to go back in no matter what. Just... Be safe. Right. In and out. And shake the analog stick for this. Go under. Don't let him catch you with something like that. He catches you with your pit. No, no. Pull the nades out. And go up. 22, and he's doing it again. Okay. Smoke nades. And 
And the name just don't matter. Dive in here. Don't let those bees come at you because they can drain your health really quick. This fight should be five, six minutes, something like that. I think it's been about five minutes since we started this fight. Now if he would just be a little bit nicer about the whole... There it is. I guess he heard me. Shoot him quick. Oh, he keeps doing that. Sometimes he'll get in these loops and it's just... It's a little frustrating to deal with. He's doing the Tommy gun. We know where the invincible spot is. Just go back up here. Aim with first person with R1, L2, and R2 to keep up. And he's done. There's the pain under six minutes on European Extreme. Okay, you're done here. You can go ahead, grab yourself that camo the way you do it. If you don't happen to know, is just swim over here. Get on this. Okay, you gotta get on here a different way then. Get on here like this. And you're gonna dive roll across here. Just to get onto there. Okay? Dive roll. And you're here. Get the camo. It's your Hornet Strike uniform. You can use that in New Game Plus unless you already have it. In which case, you probably use it during the last fight. Okay. Now, and here we go. You don't need to save yet. In fact, you should be fine here. You feel free to save if you think this is one of the spots, or you know you just don't want to fight the pain again if you mess up on this next part. It's kind of just running through here for now. Not much you really have to do. Skip the cutscenes. Feel free to go ahead and get these fruits. The fruits don't really go with bad as quick, I think. I could be wrong, but I've had less experience with fruits going rotten than snakes and stuff like that. There's a mine detector here, I believe. Yep. If you didn't grab it earlier, it's right there. Actually, I don't know if you can grab it earlier. And... Feel free to just kick things for the food. It's not a bad idea to just keep some extra food around. Okay. So now, just roll off here, roll off here. Careful not to fall off, because if you fall down here, you will die. And here. Now, if you're gonna save, here's where you can get caught. Because there are some floating guys up there. Now, what I would recommend... Go ahead, turn your suppressors back on. Backpack. You have the croc cap on. Go ahead and lay down in the water. Equip the croc cap. Now, just if you want to be safe, go ahead, put a different camo on. Tiger stripe. Okay. Now, you should be fine. Uh, if you're on the HD edition, I believe you can use... No, actually, you cannot. Okay, before you get up anywhere... Oh, nope. Go ahead and eat something, because you're going to need the stamina. Be careful, because I just did something really risky being right here when I did that. Okay. Just don't want to be in the light with the croc cap not on because then they will see you and that'll be a game over you can pretty much swim towards the end here almost end no literally end figuratively not figuratively you know what i mean the end is in the person go ahead and crawl one more time you don't want anything bad going on here now there's a path left here for the svd if you want to go ahead and get that but you really don't need it. Just go along this path. Towards the right side, this will lead you to the next part where I would actually recommend saving. Take off the croc cap, and here you go.
Now here's another point where I would say save because it's going to be a little bit of a long way. You can mess up on here if you're unlucky because there's a good amount of guards. Okay. Okay, so when you get here, you're going to want to take out this first guard right here, the one that just almost spotted me. He's a problem because he'll see you quicker than anyone else. You gotta line up that shot. I think if you crouch and he goes up to the edge, he won't actually be able to see you. You can also try and take out this guy in the back right here from here, but if you're not comfortable going for that shot, feel free to go on closer. Go ahead and equip the crop cap just to be safe. Stay directly on the ground. Like, pretty much hug the ground until you get to here. Because otherwise, the guy on this side, over here, he'll see you from up there and he'll start coming closer. And then he might see you. Now you have that one. And if, you know, you're low on your silencer like I seem to be, you can go ahead and take off your silencer for the last guy here as it's not going to go ahead and draw any alerts. Don't go back in the water. He's going to come over here, I'm thinking. Or not, I think he's going on the other side. And... That's fine. Okay, now you can go ahead and get some stun grenades right here. And there, or you get the ammo too. There's night vision goggles over here. And there's smoke grenades over here for you. If you want to restock on those after the pain fight, that might be the best thing to do. You can take off the croc cap now. You're not going to need it for probably the rest of the game. But here we are in the warehouse. And this part is one of the tougher parts of this all. Go ahead. Make sure your silencer is equipped. I think I have about two shots or something with it. So let's make them count. Alright, you want to take out this guy as soon as possible. And take out this guy. And you can drop right back down. Go this guy. Hold circle and move the analog stick to break and bring him down like that. So now you only have one guy watching from up top there. There's also a camo over there you might want to go ahead and grab. But you're not going to need it that much. At least not yet. Okay. Be cautious of where he is. He kind of likes to peek his head out. Yep. Get a good shot on him. Like that. Okay. Now, first things first, after you do that, after this room is cleared out, you don't have to grab the stuff, but hop over here, drop down, and suppressor for your drink gun. Now about the camouflage I was talking about, there's another cardboard box if you missed it earlier. It's the same one from before. There's a desert face camo that will be helpful in the mountain area. Okay. Now we just head up here. Nothing too much, nothing too big for this all. It's just play it safe. Hop over his body and out the door you go. Here, in this area, there's no guards, but there's tons of traps that can completely slaughter your health. So if you're at low health from the pain fight, or maybe still from the ocelot fight, or both, go ahead and play this part as safe as possible. Thermals never hurt anyone. See this uh, trap right there? There's also poison frogs around. They aren't going to kill you, but you can use them later on if you'd ever like to. Also a bunny. Free food. And serum. Okay. So this one, I mean, you can kind of just... Yeah, stick to the left of that and you'll be fine. It's kind of just a straightforward path to here, and then you go up here. And make your way towards the lab. Now there's a dog here that can see you, and if you're not camouflaged the right way, he will see you. So, go ahead and get down here. 
and around here you're gonna want to go ahead and throw on at least your leaf camo if you have better camo go ahead put that on feel free to do so just whatever works best the leaf one seems to usually work best here actually the black one does work too okay i think we'll go with the black if we see our camo dip too far below, we'll switch back to the leaf, but the leaf is the safe one. So you're gonna wanna roll, yep, see. Switch to camouflage, back to leaf. Or tiger stripe again. But you have to keep your camo at a decent position, decent spot. Otherwise that guard dog will see you and alert that guy over there, and then that's game over right there. You gotta restart from wherever you last saved. Don't worry about the snake. Okay, worry about that snake. I thought that was a milk snake. Turns out to be a coral snake. Just, if it happens, simple cure. I am curious what snake that was, though. Okay, just stick along this part. No one should see you. But you should be fine. I believe this one is a milk snake, though. Okay, this one is the milk snake. I don't know what the other one was, but it's fine. Uh, I believe the animal camo will be good here. I keep going to the backpack instead. Uniform. No, animal is not. Okay. You can just run with it. As long as this guy isn't looking this way. Be sure you put the silencer back on. Yep, go quick. When he's not looking. Should be fine. As long as he doesn't... Yep, you're good. Okay. Go in through this little hole on the wall and you'll be good. Don't have to worry too much about everyone inside. Because when you get inside, you can go ahead, take off your face paint. Be sure you take off your face paint, otherwise it will cost you. And get the science camo on. Or not camo, but the outfit. And no face paint. You can put on the mask if you want, but it's your call. You don't have weapons, that's just fine. The biggest thing here is there's a couple of guards. That if they see you, they will just send you somewhere. Huh? Not so fast. Yep. Huh? Running away, huh? That's it. You just get this little cutscene. They send you back. Come on back to the lab. It's nothing too rough. All right. Don't bump into anyone. Don't make any enemies. What to watch out for that spider? I was about to say it. Okay. Go ahead and cure. And let's get out of here before anything else. Yeah, before that guard wants to do anything funny. Watch out for that door. There's a few camos here that are really nice to have, but nothing really worth ruining the whole foxhound run the uh, scientist in there can see you so stay to this side you have to go around here first thing you want to do before you actually go ahead and get into the other parts of this just make things a little bit easier on yourself go back outside through this side and you want to go ahead and grab yourself an assault rifle. Huh? Not so fast. That's fine. If you run, they aren't going to say anything. There you go, get the assault rifle. And they should be coming here. Yep. <laughs> You're not getting away. Get back to work. Okay. Brings you back to the basement. Just go back out the exact same way. And don't hit this guard with the door. It's not good for you or him. Because if he sounds that alarm, it's over. 
So this time you're going to go all the way around and same way we were going before but instead of taking the left back towards the main entrance we're going to go ahead and take a right towards the other set of stairs. It's the same path as before. Yeah, avoid that guy. Avoid all the other scientists because they're the only ones who can actually see you and spot you. So instead take a right here and then take a right into this door and you're going to want to go down these stairs. Now, I actually would recommend saving here, as this part can be kind of tricky with the way some of these guards are, or the scientists are. I d definitely would recommend saving here. You want to get the SIG gas spray, and go ahead and put the SIG gas spray on. You're going to want that. And go ahead and drop this this and get the gas spray where is it here it is you only get 15 so make them count okay right. square to use just don't let them see you if they see you for more than a millisecond it's game over all right here we are I uh, guess he does not want to go down. Alright, just... He's down. It's all good. Taking these guys out one by one. The guy over there didn't even notice. You don't gotta worry about having it because they will get restocked at some point. This is just to be safe. You can kind of just run by them all. But it's up to you. Now, after this part, for sure, I would recommend saving because this is where it gets a little bit annoying. I'm sure you skip the cutscenes. I don't know why Snake went in with just a knife. And we're almost on the fear, which is followed right up by the end. Go ahead and save. I'm even gonna save. It's one of the few places I will. Do you want? Yes, I do want to save. Now the trick with the fear, so I explained this beforehand, is when the fight starts, take out the arrow, take out the poison, get that sorted out, then use a fake death pill. When the fear comes up to you, he's gonna examine your body, he's gonna walk away, turn around when he's facing the other direction. Use the revival pill. When you get back up with the revival pill, toss a stun grenade at the floor right next to him, right behind him. Look up so that you don't get blinded by it. And when the stun grenade goes off, with the assault rifle you're using, start spraying at the fear. It'll get him down instantly. And I know you you might be wondering, why am I using an assault rifle? This is a no-kill run. Because you use the stun grenade first. It's kind of a glitch to use it. I think it's kind of glitch. Snake. But... It pretty much decimates his stamina bar. It's not going after his health, just the stamina bar. Either that or you can go ahead and play whatever target practice was with the fear. What am I doing? Yep, just stick to the left. Stick to the left and they won't see you. And we're good, we're golden, we're out of here. These stairs. Okay. Okay. So, before when you were going past the guard by sticking to the left, the scientist I mean, the whole thing with that is if that part isn't working out the way you want it to, or if that guy keeps seeing you, or maybe you just keep clipping on something, like you bump into something, push you a little too far to the right, the way you want to do that just use the tiptoes L2 and R2 and then you spray him with the SIG gas and going out here now now this part a little bit tricky but nothing hard at all you want to stay on these you know plated parts the bricked parts and 
go ahead, get to this roll. And switch to your camouflage. Uniform. Tiger stripe. Unless you have something you will like better. Animals seems to work better, but we're just gonna go ahead and use the tiger stripe and put woodland on. And just crawl under the truck. It's safer, you know, you don't gotta worry about one of these guards maybe seeing you at a weird angle or something. Plus you get these eight bullets. So worth it, you know. You go out the same way you came in, right through this grass, they think nobody's there. That's why you switched out, because if you started out in the tiger stripe, they would have just seen you and that would have been an instant game over. So by starting out in that, if they saw you, they're going to start trying to walk towards you and tell you to get back in the lab. Also, that's there if anyone wants the keratin. It's in between those two. Okay. So here, go ahead and take this guy out, because he can be problematic if, you know, your camo isn't perfect. So just to give you a little bit of leeway, if you don't want to take him out, if you want to save the bullet, it might be a little bit more maneuvering with the camo, but it is still possible. And Snake is hungry now, you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, unless your aim on that guy was getting affected, then go ahead and eat something. But for now, we don't have to worry about that too much. Go ahead and get ready for the fear. Get the assault rifle out. And make sure the stun grenade is out, the fake death pill is out. Cardboard box, always like the cardboard box. Uh, reset. Just crawl through here. You don't have to worry about the dog. The dog isn't going to see you, and the guy all the way on that side won't see you either. Hopefully this snake doesn't bite us again. Okay. And just crawl your way into the grass. The grass is the safest, because the natural camouflage. Plus 10%. Okay. Crawl your way through here. I know, you know... You're right here, you might want to just get up and go. If you see it like this, I guess you can. But if you don't want to risk it, don't risk it. Okay, now we're on the fear. The boss fight itself is Okay, so, thing with the fear, the way you beat this fight on Foxhound, if you're going for Foxhound, you don't want to spend too much time playing his little target practice game, go ahead, get all this set up. Clean yourself up. No, not the splint, the septic, and disinfectant. And to beat this fight, you have to die. Go ahead, use your fake death pill. Wait till the fear comes up to you. He's going to say his little line, then he's going to turn around, and that is the perfect time to strike. You can end this fight in literal seconds. Already. Dead already. Just when the real fear was about to begin. Okay, he turned around. The revival pill. Go ahead and switch to the stun nade. Drop it, and switch to the assault rifle, look up, and start spraying. Instead of reloading. Do not reload. You will lose too much time and won't be able to use that. You'll get stuck and have to do that again. So if you gotta use a quick reload, which is just double tap R2. That's it. Double tap R2, quick reload, and you're done. Okay, and you just keep spraying on the fear until he's out. After you do that, you're set, done with the fear. This is the only boss fight that I personally don't save on, but if you feel like saving on, or if you want to just be careful, definitely go for it. Okay. Okay, our health doesn't really matter for the moment, because the next fight is the end, and that fight is stamina based. I believe we go up here. No. I am lost. Okay. So we just came from here, didn't we? Yep, so we just go back this way. 
go ahead and get the thermals on just so you don't run into a bomb like I did. It's right back here. Now, while I don't say save on the fear fight, I do say save right after the fear fight. Not here, but when you go inside the warehouse here. Because this part can get li a little bit tricky. Do you want to save? Yes, let's go ahead and save. So, because we're coming up on the end, let me explain his thing. Now, if you really just want to cheese it, you don't want to do it at all. Don't care for the fight at all, even though it is an epic fight. What you can do, go ahead and wait a week. Just get into the fight, save the game, come back a week later, and then keep going. Because the fear will have died from old age. Kick the buck in the middle of the battlefield. You'll get a funny conversation with Snake and Zero, but... After that, it's pretty much just keep going. Lame way to do it, but I'll show you actually fighting the fear, the strategy there. So, that's a free way to do it. Now, when you get here, crouch down, because this guy down there, he'll see you quick. I'm gonna go ahead and just take him out. Take, okay. You can have a good angle on him. Wait till he shows his face. And Snake is low on stamina, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat just so we aren't messing up our shots. Actually, I completely forgot about this. You don't need to eat anything at all. Just go ahead and throw the animal camel on. Because the special thing about... Oh, please tell me I picked up the Fierce Camel. Let's go back. Pick up the Fierce Camel. I just hope it's still here. Or I'm going to have to completely reset this. Yep, it's here. Okay. Don't forget to get the camo. Because that can mess you up a lot. Okay, just go back in. Let's pretend that never happened. Fierce camo is one you definitely need. If you don't pick up any of the other camos, at least pick up the fears. Okay, he's still down. Nothing much to worry about with him. You want to take out these other two other guys. So, if you're a good shot, go for it. If not, just get a little bit closer. He's down. What's wrong? What's wrong? He's down. What's wrong? These guys are saying their whole what's wrong things. And this is the last guy. And that should be all of them. Okay, you're good to go. Go ahead and get more food in here. It's free calorie mates, noodles, and all that kinds of good stuff. And when you come down here, Drop down and get the suppressor again. Gives you a whole other suppressor, and you should be pretty much set on suppressors for the rest of the game. Alright. And here we go. Go up here. And we're just about to fight the end. Not yet. We have to make it through one little bit of area. And then we're fighting the end. Okay. Get this call with Eva. If you want, and if you got rat traps, you can set them here, and you can get the Tsuchinoko. You don't really have to fox round run. It's completely up to you, completely optional. There's also a lot of good plants here, and there's, I believe, the um, mushroom that makes you pass out is also in this area. And that's a funny conversation with Paramedic, but... Again, we are on this run. Okay. Now here's what you're going to do. You're going to switch out your camo. Spider. Just make things really nice and easy for you. Go ahead and eat some food. Now these ones are going bad. It's only been a day since I last played this. But as you see the little fly icon on them means they are starting to go bad. 
See? Okay. Go ahead and cure the stomach ache. Just with meds. And there's a burn here from earlier. Don't be like me. Okay. So you're gonna go to this left side over here. Stay to the left. If you go to the right side, it might just have a few more enemies to worry about. Over here, go ahead and shoot this guy. Oh. The enemy. He's here. No, he isn't. Oh my god. Where'd he go? Oh, I what where could it be? Does he have ultra instinct? Oh my god. <laughs> so easier way to do that is just shoot him in the head the first time. The problem with the spider camo is it drains your stamina until you get to zero, and when it gets to zero, you lose all your camo index. So before you get there, go ahead, eat something. Eat this. It's about a 50-50 chance that the rotten food is gonna stomach ache. Okay. There should have been a guy here, yet yeah, here he is. If you are a little bit quicker than me, you could have just taken him out over there. But this works too, but you gotta be careful when you're coming up on this guy and running through here. There are birds in here that will fly away and give away your location of this guy. So watch out for that. So this, just roll over this, roll over this. There's no one here. Stick to the left. Go around this trap, and here you are. And now you're on the end fight. So, I would recommend saving before this one. Or, at this one. You don't need the spider camo. Take off the spider camo immediately. Your camo doesn't really matter here. The only thing you should be worried about is making sure that your stamina gauge stays high. So I would recommend just... For the stability of the aim, keep the animal camo on. Otherwise, you can use whatever camo floats your boat. Yeah, same goes with face paints and all that. Because the way we're doing it, we're not doing a sniper battle. We're not doing a battle of stealth or anything of that sort. Just... Going to find him, and we will take him out with these. So, already go ahead. Oh, don't start this out. Start out by making sure you have food in you. And the false mango. The other false mango. You have your food in you, your stamina's back up, camo's set, everything's set, take up the suppressor. Or, go ahead and save. Snake, you want- yep. yep, she's giving you a warning. If you come back to this fight a day later, you will be done for. No, don't wait too long to come back to this fight. If you save and go, you gotta come back soon. And... Go ahead and save here. About an hour in and on the end. This is about the halfway point just after this. Okay. We could be doing a little bit better on time, but I'm also trying to explain things at the same time, so your time should be better than mine. If not, it's fine. You'll you have that leeway time I was talking about before. Make sure you yep. Do that. If you leave, be sure you come back soon. Okay. So... The end starts out usually on a spot right past this hill. I'm going to want to...
take this off. Pledge thermals. And don't step in this rope. Yep, there he is. Okay, he's right up. Oh, okay, he can see me. Yep. Oh, I missed it. I messed up the whole double reload. Be sure you take out, whenever he shoots you, take these out because these drain you. And I think he got a, yeah, he got a headshot, so it took me down a lot. Yeah, get out of this triangle if you run into one. Not too much to worry about. Also, feel free to blow up any sheds like this here. Is him? Here? Oh, he is over there. It's not the end. Take this out. If he shoots you, just eat something. This first part is the harder part of this. When you finally get on his tail, you will be fine. Where is he? And I got shot. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you guys can see him when I'm shooting him, but he's way across. Little yellow. He just ran away. Alright. Go ahead and get in here. Turn that off. TNT gives you some bullets, too. If you have an SVD, I think it can. That does give you an SVD, too. If you want to go ahead and do a sniper battle, but you cannot. Because he has the only... Frank Sniper. Okay, he went in that way, so let's go ahead and just try and find him. You want to have the thermals on you, so you can go ahead and use these to find his footsteps. If you find his footsteps, you found him. You want to sneak up on him. You can even get the whole trophy for holding him up, get his camo, all that sorts of stuff. Which we are going to do, because the end's camo is pretty useful. Yeah, see? His footprints... Follow these. Yep. Don't get shot. Where, where's his footprints going? Okay. Eat some food. Hopefully it's not rotten. It was rotten. But it still gave stamina back. Alright. Nope. Oh, go ahead, and... Nope, digested med. Where did... Okay, footsteps go off here. And... Cure again. Don't let him get too wild with shooting you. Where... His footsteps go this way. And just, I guess, up here. Yep, up here. Okay, follow the footsteps, and when you get close to one of the areas he's sniping from, you want to start using the D-pad to start stock walking. It's going to walk slow enough so that he won't hear you coming up on him. You can pull out your gun, and creep up behind him. There he is. Don't get in his line of sight, don't stay too close to his left side or right side, he can see you from one of those, and then he will shoot you, and it will suck. Okay. Get up right behind him. Freeze. Huh? Yep. Where did you? He's gonna give you the camo if you just hold him here. I don't think so. Keep holding him here. Don't shoot yet. I don't think don't so. Don't shoot yet. Uh, and here you go. Here. Go ahead and grab the camo. Okay. Follow him, just chase him. Now you have the moss camo, which is good for your stamina, so I would actually recommend putting that on this fight. Because it also gives you a camo advantage, plus you have photosynthesis. Which sounds crazy, but you do. Which will keep your stamina gauge from dropping too low. Follow the end. You can see him running, keep using the thermals as much as you can. 
Going all the way up here. It's gonna go on that hill, I'm guessing. Or he's going past the hill. One or the other. Yep, on the hill. Okay. So he's right up on here. You can sneak up on- Oh, okay. Unless he does that. Don't let him kill you. Don't let the end happen. Otherwise, you will have to restart. Instant noodles. Okay. I don't know why it sounds so quiet right now with how Snake's talking. Okay. That's fine. Follow him again. You can shoot him again in the back like that, just holding the auto-aim button. He's really fast for an old man. Kinda sucks. Alright, just keep following. And he should be going, go, he, I think he's going to a new area. So if he's going to a new area, you can follow him the same way. Yep, you're set. Follow him in the same way, it's pretty much just keep going with this till you're done. Don't let yourself die. If you're near a sniping point like this, you want to... Watch, I can see he's right there. If I kept running, he would have heard me, and he turned around and shot me. Very, very careful. Freeze! Huh? Where did you... Alright. There he goes. Try this on. Don't look at the stun. Do not ever look at the stun or you might lose him. Alright. Making short work of him, he's already through over half his health. And he does lose stamina just from... Or, he's through half his stamina. He loses stamina just from existing. And there he is lying down again. Don't run. Walk with the D-pad. Stalk through. That's all you gotta do. Right, here he is. I can't tell what way he's laying. Oh. Yep. Freeze. Huh? Where did you? And three headshots. Oh. I've got a Look away from it. Follow him. It's almost done. So was actually really lucky, super easy with how, you know, his placement ended up being and how we were able to find him so quick. So I'm glad that happened. Okay. The mist kind of messes with the thermals a bit, but it's bearable. There he is again. Shouldn't be more than another one after this. And more than likely, you're going to run out of ammo on this as I always do, almost without fail every time I've done this fight. Freeze. How did you and in that case, you can always switch to using your SIG gas spray on him. There he goes. The show must go on. Show must go He threw it off the thing. <laughs> Keep following him. Got one bullet left. Do you really want to? Nope. Don't run into the log either. Keep following him. Go ahead and get the SIG gas out. You could always just punch him, which also does work well. Just... is that him? That is him. Okay. And sig gas out. He's almost done. This next thing should be the end of it. End of the end. He's going into a new place.
At least I believe he is. Oh, he's right there. Okay, perfect. It's a nice quick run of the end. And we're gonna smoke him to death. Remember, smoke and kills. Can't believe I said that. Okay. The end's done. Make sure you get his sniper. That's the most important thing here. If you don't know where it is, use the thermal. It's right down in the middle here. Because you're going to need the sniper a lot later. This sniper is going to carry you through a lot of things. Okay. Just go up here, take a riot. Actually, go ahead and kill this. extra food. And you'll take a left here and it'll be the open pathway for you. And now we're at the halfway point of the game. Okay. There's not much here, just a couple of rats. Not even a lot of gear. There's the keratin thing right here. Uh, here. And the ladder climb. Oh, but just enjoy this. A nice little intermission in between. But we're halfway through the game so far. Got everything set. We need some more ammo for a gun. Our MK-22. Okay, after you get out of here, this is going to be where you want to save, as it's fairly easy to get caught up here. It's not fun. Honestly, I don't even think I save here. I think I save the part after here, but just if you want to be safe. And the camouflage you're going to want here is going to be the animal camouflage. There's a better camouflage, or there's one just as good, but... I do not have it because I chose playing Metal Gear Solid for the first time. But if it's a new game plus or if you play picked, um, I like playing MGS3, you will have it. Currently, there's no ammo in this gun. So, best thing to do right now is kind of just, yeah, crawl on through. Snake will do something where he'll, like, get up if you're at, like, a weird angle. But don't worry about that, just go right back down and keep going. You're at 90% camo, you should be fine. You can get these white rumped vultures if you want some extra snacking, but it's not that important. You have enough Oh, snake. You will have enough food. So, you're going to want to crawl to this cave over here. Watch out for the scorpion. You won't have to watch out for the guards if you just go straight down the middle like I just did. He says he thinks he saw something. He 
does not see anything because you're at 90% camo. I got bit by the scorpion, which is fine. And go back under here. Okay. When you're under here, go ahead and do this. See, if you go down the middle, the guards won't see you if you're at 90% camouflage. You're fine as long as you don't get too close to the guards. Uh, pay a little bit more attention to your surroundings than I was there. Because that guard almost snuck up on me. I shouldn't have let that happen. So, you might want to adjust to the right for that area. Or just wait till he does his round over there. And you'll be fine. When you come out here, you'll have a good lot more ammo in this. You can stick to the left to avoid this guy. And that guy. Don't walk off or crawl off the cliff, though. Okay, and... Good to run. Now, when you get here, this is one of the places that I highly, highly recommend saving because this area is huge and super easy to get caught. Make sure, uh, I know I should have said it before, but I'm hoping no one strayed that far and blew up the helicopter because that makes your job a lot harder here. So, if the helicopter was around, you're fine. Yes, we're going to go ahead and save here. Alright. Just going to save. We're going to be at this next part. See how far into this we are. We should be maybe hour and a half. Hour and a half, probably. Should end the game around three and a half to four hours giving a little bit of extra time but if you follow the guide and don't spend all this time trying to explain things like I'm trying to do you will be going even faster than me probably okay start this one out your silencer on there's this guy up here you take your time to line up the shot and Okay, two are in him. It's fine, good enough. He might see you for like, yep, there he goes. Go ahead and grab those bullets. Uh, stun grenades in here, nothing you really need. When you get to this part, where you can see this guy, but he can't see you, use your tiptoes, shoot him in the head. Okay, just keep going up the hill. Staying in the animals will... Camouflage will give you some cover while walking. Not cover, but camo while walking. Up this thing. Just keep going. Sometimes a guard will be walking this path. You don't have to worry too much about him because he shouldn't be there yet. Now, same thing here. Pop him in the back of the head. Okay, and next is this guard here. Just... R2 to lean out, shoot him over here. If you don't want to shoot him, you can just run up behind him and hit him with the knockout slam. But it's whatever you want to do. More or less, you end up taking out majority of the guards in this area, if not all of them. He goes down. I need this. HQ. He goes down to... Okay. Usually that shouldn't happen, but I guess we'll have to manage for now. Okay, just run up here. Don't wait for any support unit. Okay, so... Mount top can be a little bit tricky if you aren't sure what to do here. First thing, take out this guy. It's nothing much to worry about. It's going to bring that guy down. That's about it. There's going to be a guy who is walking along this path too. You kind of just crawl along this path until you find a vent that'll be up ahead. That vent type deal, it's not really a vent, but it's something. You go through that and it'll lead you to another thing of the same sort. Oh. Okay. 
not sure what the other guy was doing, but I guess he can keep going. Go through here. This type of vent. This front one. And it'll lead you into another one. Which is the one you're gonna follow. You just keep going along these. There are a few guards along the way you'll have to take out. Luckily, we picked up all that ammo beforehand and the two suppressors from before. So there's nothing here that should be too difficult. Also, I did forget to mention... If you want the 100% camo index trophy, if you're on the HD collection, you can get it by wearing the end's camo in the moss back there before the ladder climb. If you missed it, it's not too big a deal. You can do it at the very start of a new game. But it is available there too. That is New Game Plus, I mean. Okay, so, so far so good. That vent you don't follow, it'll lead you into a supply shed for bandages and that kind of medical stuff, which we don't actually need at all. Just keep crawling along this path, keep the 90% camo index, take it right here, and just keep following it. Okay, I believe you can get up now. Yeah, this is the only guy. Take him out. Just run. Now you're set to go in here, you're gonna have the cutscene with Eva. You're gonna get the... There's probably a good place to save there if you want. Get in here. We're actually not going to save here. We're going to save right after we get out of this. So, it's a great cutscene. A lot of character building. I love watching it, but... Not going to get to watch it right now. Okay. And don't jump off the cliff. Also, if you have a sniper rifle, the keratin is right, like, over there somewhere. But, oh wait, we do have a sniper rifle. But if you have, if you're going for those as well. Uh, the noodles, the noodles, just pick those up. There's some more stuff under here, I believe there's some ammunition. Yep. Get all that. Uh, watch out for the scorpion here. And you're on the mountaintop. Okay. So, you really don't need to save on this part. You, it's, it's kind of a straight shot. But this part can get a little glitch. Not glitchy, but can get a little bit tricky. Like, if you mess up if you mess up, you'll get seen from a mile away, and kind of sucks. And if you mess up, you can also break your kneecap. So try not to mess up. It's just if you fall too far down, or if you don't fall in the right spot, you'll get seen from somewhere else. And you'll know what I mean by falling in a second. So after the saves, we're gonna go ahead and go forward. There's gonna be a guy on our right who has a flamethrower. We're gonna Shoot him from peeking using L2. Okay. Okay, so there's gonna be a guy up here to your right side. Make sure you have the trank gun out and just go ahead and use the L2 peek and shoot him in the head. That guy's gone. Now, you, if you mess up, you can lose your kneecap on here just like that. But you want to be right by this door. Go right in there. Yeah, you lost your kneecaps. Get the Pringle knees. Go ahead and cure that up really quick. Splint and bam. If you do it right, you land on the one before and you drop right back down. So it has a little bit of a buffer space in between. That way you aren't going to break your anything. Uh, snake. Okay. Keep just going along here, and you're gonna be in the fear boss fight. 
Or the Fury. You know, you already fought the Fury. The Fury fight is quite annoying. Just let me get that, say that right now. If you don't have the fire resistant camo, which you get from doing the fierce, if you're not on New Game Plus, this will be quite a pain. Okay. What you're going to want for this one, you're going to have that out anyways. You need this sniper out. Yep, this is about it. Go ahead and keep that out anyways. You're going to mostly be using this and this. Now, before anything, let me make sure everything's good here. Okay. So you're going to want the thermal goggles. And go ahead, start off by taking the suppressor off of that. Put the suppressor on that so you know the difference. If you want to just make your life a little bit easier. Before anything, let's go ahead and eat something. Don't eat this, please. European rabbit. Okay. And when you drop down... Your stuff isn't really going to matter in terms of... Your ca your camo will matter. I take that back. You're probably going to want the dark camo on. Yep. Dark camo. Black camo. Or the spider also works, but... You know. Now, stay for this one just because of all that setup we had to do so you don't have to keep doing it every time. Cause that... I don't know about... Are you going to save? You know... I don't know about you, but it annoys me a lot to have to keep redoing that over and over if I die or something. Because this boss fight, super easy to die. Something he likes to do is if you get him past that halfway point, he starts just spraying the entire area on fire. This is nowhere you can walk. Okay. And something I actually didn't know before, if you have the box... You can quickly equip the box, and the box will put out whatever fire you're on. So if you're on fire, equip the box, unequip it, you're not on fire anymore. That's the beauty of the box. Okay. Now, when this fight starts, let me just go ahead and explain. Let's go put these camos on black black so he can't see you as easily so another thing you're going to want to go ahead and put in your backpack is the box because i forgot about this before but the box can put out fires if you manage to find yourself on fire at any point put on the box immediately the box will set that fire right out now the way the fury works right he's walking around doing his whole thing lighting the whole place on fire watch out for the fire and Certain types of attacks you can see he's about to light the whole row in front of him when he lights a whole row The reason you're gonna be at the very back of the row, whatever it is stay at the very back of whatever row you're on And if he starts trying to light it on fire you move to your left or you move to your right or wherever Isn't on fire that you can get to before the fire reaches you from him so what we're really doing to do the damage on him this time around is we're using the sniper the um, most of Nagat, the one that we got from the end, right? And we're using that sniper, and the same thing with the quick reload, the double tapping R2 that we did on the, fe the fear. We're gonna be doing that a lot more here, and we're gonna have to be aiming a little bit better here. You gotta always aim for his suit. If you use the sniper, it does a lot of damage. So you keep spamming the R2 after you do that. So you take a shot, double tap R2, take a shot, double tap R2, take a shot, double tap R2. So you do it three times every time you do it. Because that's his whole thing before he does his li little bit with the invincible frames and comes at you. So after you hit the three shots, you run away. So that's really the whole plan with him. I'll show you how it's done. Thermal's on. Stay if he's right here. Go ahead and get this out. Alright. 
Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh. I missed the shots. Don't miss the shots like I did. Makes things a lot harder. Alright. Try this again. And I. There we go. It's two more shots on him, I think. Or two or three. I didn't see. So he's coming around. Don't walk off this cliff. He's running, doing his own thing. Stay on your own sides. Yep. Alright, here he is. And he's almost done. His flame suit is ripped. He's going to be a little bit more intense when he's this slow on health. Stay careful. This is where it gets a little bit intense. But you don't want to be in the same area as him. Seems like he's coming to the side. Go around. Just keep doing laps. Don't ever be in one place. You don't want to be getting stuck by any of this. Okay. Oh, he's going this way now. Not entirely sure what he's doing. I'm gonna put the box on just to avoid this fire. Yep. He's just doing laps. Okay. Okay. One. There we go. When he does that three, two, one, that's your chance while he's in his little bit of the rage phase. You're done with this part, you finish the fear. Do not forget, his camo is right there. If you forget that and go up the ladder, you cannot go back. Okay, it's another suppressor for you. Put the suppressor back on, we're gonna need it. And here we are in this next part. Now, after that fight, if that fight seemed to be troublesome for you, go ahead. When you get up here, save. Don't save back there, just save up here if anything. I'm personally not going to save here. Yep. So, the way this one is, it this place has always been weirdly laggy, but... Throw the spider camo on. You want to have some good camouflage, change your face paint to whatever, doesn't really matter. It seems like this... Actually, nope. Black works best here. Okay. And... Get this out. You're pretty much going to be running through here. Just follow this path that I'm going on. You will be fine. Okay. It's this guard right here. It's not really much to do and avoid. Go out this side. And just head straight for that door. Beeline it to the door. And you're good. Okay, you're in the northeast part of Grozengrad. Alright, go this right side right here. There's gonna be a guard on that side. You're gonna wanna just shoot him really quickly in the back of the head. Okay. Snake is low on stamina, so it's really hard to aim. Eat something. You're about to lose all of this food anyway, so feel free to just eat whatever you'd like. Yep, he's down. Watch out for anyone here. Just, if you want to be safe, just run this side. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's not what we wanted to happen. Oh, I don't know if it it is going to be an alert. Okay. So, the alert 
shouldn't be that much of a problem. This is one of the places you that save? you're going to want to save. Even if you didn't get the alert like I did. If, you know, it really doesn't matter if you shoot that guy. If you want it to be safe, do it. If you miss, that's what happens. So remember that about missing because they hear the bullet bounce off somewhere. They call in everyone. And now you're in a whole alert phase, which you do not want. Okay, saving. Now I think we can kind of just wait this out. Okay. So when you get into here, first thing you need to do is go ahead and switch into scientist outfit, because scientists aren't allowed in here. Make sure you don't have any face paint on, because they will catch you for that. Okay. Go ahead and equip the Sig Spray. You're going to want to go up here, deal with that guy first. Make sure you aren't doing anything too crazy in front of anyone. Just round this corner. Huh? Oh. Huh? Yep, just like that. And drag his body. Yep. Okay. And he dropped some bullets. We have three sprays left. We will be getting this reloaded. Make sure you at least have the one spray for Rykov, who's going to be coming out of here real soon. Like that. And start dragging him. Alright. Don't bring them too close to this door or it will open. Stick to this ledge right here and now just drag him across the middle. You're going to bring him into this room here. It's a fast and easy way to do it. So you don't have to drag him up any of these stairs and through these rooms. His ID stuff will get him through here. And here we are. There's Rykov here. Okay. Now, he's in here. Let's not mess with him. Okay, go through here. There's the Shago Hod. Just gonna take this right. Pretty much after this, we're gonna be done with this part. Let's go ahead and eat. Just. Because we can. We're gonna lose all our stuff anyways. So we'll get calorie made or something going. That's damn good. And in here. Oh I forgot to switch. <laughs> I forgot to switch my stuff. Put on the officer. And Put on the mask. And we're good to go. Huh. Mm -hmm. Sir. Let's get through this cutscene. We're also not going to save. Oh, no, I did not want to save. Uh, this is a waste of time. Don't save here. It's not worth it. You're just going to be back in this cutscene. If you're going to save, save after the cutscene, if anything, which you honestly don't need to. Don't waste your time saving. Oh. Tell me! Stop it! Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. I kinda have to go through this part. Let's see what Vulcan says about our bot. Talking. Please, stop it! Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? Oh How God. can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. I never did it. You! Funny thing, you can hold R2 during this when he starts beating on Snake, and Snake won't take any damage until you let go of R2. Or L2, I think, also works. Yep. Okay. 
entertaining than he was. Okay. But first, let's take a look at your body, shall we? What a beautiful okay. body. Well, apparently have. we have a really good like a newborn baby. We barely took any damage up to here, so that's why he says that. The more damage you take, the Not larger your health bar is, the more he'll say. Or the different things he'll say. Well then, let's get started. So, just fun fact. What is your target? Okay. If is I hold R2, hot? my health won't go down. Or Sokolov. Or maybe it's the legacy. If I let go, me. all that Who health drops. Who let you in here? Whoa. Taking a lot of You're health. A tough one, but even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. Okay, now we can skip the cutscene. And we're gonna be in the cell. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this fork, and we're gonna eat this rat. Uh, yep. It's gonna give us the food. And the f what you're gonna wanna do, throw the food back out at him. Good old Johnny. What? You don't want this? Keep doing that. He's gonna give you your six back, or your six spray, which you're gonna need. Or it's gonna make your job a lot easier. So he's gonna come around a few times. Just gotta wait this out. And oh, before I forget, no, not here. You're gonna want to go ahead and get this tracker out of you, or after the sorrow, it's gonna be really difficult to get through. This and this using a fork. There's a transmitter inside of you which you don't want. Just a whole lap through here comes back with more food and you just keep doing that. Just wait here I guess. And now I guess it's a good a time of any to mention if you appreciate this guide why not like this and subscribe Ciao time. and because I mostly do stuff on twitch you want to check out the twitch channel huh? links for all or Thanks. for it will be in the description as well as the sub button I'm sure you know where it is anyways we let this go through snake only has the one eye Because one more time, he'll stop by the cage, or the cage, the cell, have a conversation, and then we wait for him to go one more time around, because we're going to want at least another food item. I don't know why he takes so dang long. Oh, he's sneezing. Any day now, Johnny. Hey, hey, Alright, and it's the last thing. Toss this out. Huh? Let's give the food. Huh? We're gonna have a conversation You're with lost. him right here. He's gonna say, not all Americans are dogs. That whole thing. Okay, he's gonna come back, he's gonna give us the food one more time, then we're gonna knock him out with the spray, and we're gonna call to open the cell. Okay, so 
when we knock him out and we open this up, we're gonna ha when he's knocked out, you gotta pick him up. We holding the square button. Just pick him up and drop him again. So like the whole drag thing. So drag him for like half a second. Yep. And use one four four seven five. Should get you out of the cell. Uh, we're close. Oh, too far. Okay, cell door is open. Okay, get out of here. You're gonna want to drag him once. Don't ignore the call. Because he gives you smoke grenades, and you're gonna need those smoke grenades for a very specific purpose. It is another glitch abusing type deal. There is also this down here if you want that. Keratin. And make sure we have everything. So how this is going to go down is when we go out here, we're going to go ahead and throw the vampire bat meat right in front of us. Just toss it right in front of us and distract the guard that is slightly to our left side. And... Then we're going to make a beeline for the right side to a little vent area we can crawl through. But the reason we need the smoke grenades is because if you're holding any type of grenades, whether it's normal hand grenades, smoke grenades, stun grenades, if you're holding them in your hand like you're holding the square button down and you're running with it, your footprints don't make noise or your footsteps don't make noise. So whoever you're running next to, if you're running right next to someone while holding a nade up in the air, they cannot hear you. So if I'm holding it like this, they're not going to be able to hear me. So you toss out the bat meat, you grab the smoke grenade, and you run to the right side. You wall holding the smoke grenade so no one that you run by will hear you, and the other guy who's supposed to be in front of you will be distracted with the whole bat. And you got to do this quick, and you got to really just stick to the wall when you get over to the side you need to be on, because... Otherwise, you will get caught. It's super easy to get caught here, which is why I recommend the moment we get out here, save. This is where you save. This is where I save. So if you wanted to save before, that's fine. Just this is the best place that I think to save for this. And remember, we should... We're through just like 13-ish saves, I believe. So we still have over 10 but it's probably going to go down a little bit more by the end of this all. So at least five, six, seven saves, you'll have some leeway. Here we go. I'll probably make a note of it at the start of the video. Okay, go out here and you save. This might is probably going to take me a couple takes to do. So I'm probably going to have to keep to saving save? and loading even. Yes, let's save here. And when this saves, I'll go ahead and give it one try. Let's see if we can get really lucky. Save. Should be about two hours in. Yeah, we're about two hours in. Okay, so for this part, there's a guard that's going to be right in front of you and to your left. This guy will see you if you don't distract him, right? So the first thing you need to do, remember the bat or the fish or whatever animal you got from Johnny before, you're going to go ahead and throw that right in front of you. But you don't need to press and hold to throw, don't need to do any special type of throw, just tap the square button, just that. Nothing more, nothing less, that's it. So right after you tap the square button, throw that bat at him, you're going to switch to the smoke grenades, and you're going to run to your right. And we're going to go ahead and use the whole quiet footstep trick, which is, I know I've explained it before, but I'm going to just say it again. When Snake's using smoke grenades or he's holding them up with the square button, if you have the square button held with any type of grenade, whether it's smoke, stun, or anything, that's why we got the smokes from Johnny beforehand too, which was just us, you know, picking them up, putting them down, because we needed these smokes. So you're going to run by to the right, holding the square button, that way the guy you run by won't hear you. So you're going to use the footstep trick, you won't hear Snake's footsteps, won't see you coming. Start by tossing this. Normal square, and run this way. And when you get here, you're going to stick to these boxes and go right around them. Just like that. 
then you crawl down here. So you want to go around the boxes because if you try and crawl immediately, they'll see you from all the way over there. So you go around the boxes, then you crouch down, crawl through. Now when you get here, just run this way. Just go past here. No one's watching. This guy over here, he'll think he sees you for a second. But you don't have to worry about him. It's nothing really. Just keep going. Then you go in this door. This one can be kind of tricky here. We're almost at the sorrow boss fight. So here's what you're doing here. You're running through here. You don't have to use any thing yet. When you get to the second line right here, you start heading up. Follow that exact same path, like halfway through that car that I was just at. Now, pull up the smokes again, hold it down, and you just run by. You want it to be like halfway to that last car, just follow that exact same path, so that way it gets the attention of both guards that were over there. So when you get here, go ahead and switch. Alright, and back to the smokes, run by this dog. Don't want him to hear you. So the reason you did that and you ran in that specific pattern at the start of this place was to make sure those guards, you had to have both of them see you. Both guards that were in that area with all the tanks, they both had to see you. So they started heading over. Otherwise, you'd have to deal with one of them. So you go past the bottom part, the lower end. So that way the guy close to you doesn't see you immediately. But then you start heading back up to where you're in the guy close to you, his blind side. Snake. Yep, skip through this. You're in his blind side, but the guy in the far back, he can still see you. Right? So you want him to still see you a little bit, but you're too far away for him to figure out, oh, he's Snake and he's escaping. So that way you get both guards to see you, they start coming towards you, and you just run past all of them with the smoke. Now this one, you're gonna wanna just see this first place right here. It's the left one. Crawl through here. Hopefully I explained the whole guy well enough. If you just follow that path, you're fine. You want to make both make sure both of those guards over there do see you. Not see you see you, but see you so that oh no. Get up here. You want to make sure that both of them see you enough to where they actually come at you and try and do something all right through here oh my god dog was too close for comfort i don't usually have that happen don't take any wrong turns like i just did just run on through and should be good to just run to the end full sprint you're set Next up is the Sorrow boss fight. If you already have the Sorrow's camera, you're on New Game Plus, just crawl into the water and drown yourself. That's it. But if you want the Sorrow's camo, you just go through here. It's gonna be really short because you haven't killed anyone. So you just have to see the five bosses. Or the four four bosses, I think it was. Yeah. So if you want to just get through it, just drown yourself in this water by crawling or laying down in the water. And at the end of this, take your revival pill and you'll be set. So yeah, we have the pain up here. He's doing his whole... whatever he's doing. I'm probably gonna just cut this out. Be sure you dodge the things. I don't think you can really still die if you haven't killed anyone. But it'll be fine. Thanks to the fear. Okay. So this should be the end. From the fury. And then after the fury, you just go to the very end of it, it'll auto-kill you, you take the revival pill. Yep, there's the end.
doesn't matter if they touch you or not, just walk through it. You'll get all your health back by the end of it. And here's the fear. Or the fury. Why do I keep doing that? I keep calling the fear the fury just because they're both the F something. There's a lot of fishes and stuff. Okay, you walk to the end here. Now, for this next part, we had to have taken out the um, transmitter that Ocelot put in you. You take that out in the cell. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about this next part if you haven't done that. Or what I'm about to say. So, if you did forget to take out the transmitter, you're going to have to deal with a lot of the uh, Ocelot unit here. Go ahead and revive. And... You know, it may seem hard and difficult, but if you have to deal with the Ocelot unit, you save here. If you don't have to deal with the Ocelot unit, you don't have to save here. So, here we are, we're good to go. Now, I don't have to deal with the Ocelot unit, because I didn't actually do anything. There's Keratin right there. Or because I took out the transmitter, but if you have to deal with the Ocelot unit because you forgot, save there. The Ocelot unit, it's not too hard to avoid them all. You might have to go ahead and use the um, Silent Footstep trick or oh, punch a few of them out. But aside from that, it shouldn't be too much. So, it's more or less along the same path, just how slow or where you go through to do it. Also, not that anyone really has to do it, but if you come back out here and go into the water, there is a camo. After this, you have to go in then out first to do it. Alright, no need to save here. Okay. The Shagohods. Yep. Diva. They're doing the whole thing. After this, we're gonna switch out some red gear, get better stuff. We're gonna use Do the fierce camo what? to get onto a truck with a box on it. And we're gonna wear the box. It'll put us right in the hangar with everything. We'll be set. And we are gonna go ahead and get the sneaking suit because the sneaking suit helps a lot. Okay. So going this way. Feel free to pick up the stuff. Yeah, you're not really gonna use much of it for a while. Go ahead and let's change our backpack. Drop this, drop this. We want the knife. This, this, this. Uh this you're gonna want. No. And this. Yeah, that's really all you need. Okay. And here you go. It's another suppressor you aren't going to be using. Siptic. Get this box over by the end over here. More bullets are always nice. Okay. There's a box over back here which you can grab. And you're going to put that one in your inventory. The one that says to the main ring hanger, I believe. This is the only one you really need. Yep, weapons lab hanger. Okay, that's what you want. The ration and go up the ladder. Okay. So, I already explained we're gonna go ahead and find our way onto that truck. If you want to save here, you can. You don't really have to. Uh, what we're doing, we're going to put on the Fierce Camo. We needed that ration just to have it. Oh. Uh, I need to put him to yep, he needs to go to sleep because that was about to be bad if he caught us. Yep. 
Stay to your own lane. Yeah, he's just seeing things. Just go across here. Now, here's where you're going to go ahead and put on this camo. Um, spider. Here we go. Okay. There's no one here. Yeah, just keep going this way. And you should get on with at least, like, maybe losing a fourth, no more than a half. Get on here. Switch out your camo. So you don't want this to be draining you. Don't switch naked, for the love of God. Don't switch naked. That's all a drab will do. And... Uh, yeah, switch to the box. And you're good. Okay. So next up, we're in the hangar. We get this call, skip through the call. You're gonna go up and go back for a specific outfit. You're gonna get two outfits, actually. Hopefully I remember where they are. If not, it's just gonna be a little bit of hunting. Okay, here we go, and here we are. You don't have to worry about any of the guards right now. And... Nope. There's one in here. This should be the maintenance outfit. Nope, that's sneaking suit. Okay. There's the maintenance outfit in one of these, which you're gonna want to get. See if I can, if I can figure it out. Uh, I'll probably get this out. Okay. Okay. Suppressor. I didn't even know that gun. I forgot that gun. So let's get this ration. Where to check these? Let's check here. Is it this one? Yes, it is. Okay. Go back in here. First, put on the maintenance outfit. Uniform. Maintenance. And you go in. Got nothing on your face. And go. Okay. Now, here's where I guess you could save. You don't really have to. In fact, I don't think I will. Just go through here. Roll off of this. Make sure you get the C3 in hand. Watch out for these guys, because these are the ones that will be troublesome. The actual maintenance workers. Don't have to worry about the guards, because they aren't going to do anything. It's one. Okay. Drop down here. That's two. You'll get this call from Eva, I think it is. Yep. Okay. Just go through here. Avoid all maintenance workers. Okay, and... Go. There's one more guy up there. You don't have to worry about him. It's the last one. Go ahead and switch out to your sneaking suit because this is where you're going to have to fight Vulcan. Okay, so you also want to have the fake death pill because the fake death pill might come in handy for Vulcan. Sneaking because it halves the damage you uh, take, which is very useful. And. That's about it. If you want to put on any special camo or face camo, go ahead. I personally like using the ghost camo. And we're good. Okay, now we're on the Vulcan fight. Yep, good. We're in the very end part of the game now. Don't save here, save in the actual start of the Vulcan fight. 
it's better to do that than actually have to go through this cutscene if you die or During something. Because this fight is fairly difficult. Okay. Yep, and for the moment that starts, go ahead. Call in that save. You going to save? Yep. Okay. Save here. Then after this is the Volgan fight, then the Shago Hot stuff. Nothing you re really have to do. You have to take out Volgan non-lethally. Of course, this is the Fox End run. But his camouflage. Don't forget to get his camouflage because you need that for the next part. Otherwise, you are not going to be able to do it. Or not. Unless you have absolute dead-eye aiming. Which... It's possible. I have tried doing it without, and it's doable. Just, you will die a lot, and you will get frustrated. Did I just save? Yeah, okay, it was the hard drive thing. So, the Volgan boss fight. We're on European Extreme, you know, so it's still gonna be a tough fight, but we can really make this into something super simple, super easy. Not gonna take a lot of tries, if more than one at all. Now, the first half of Volgan's health is pretty basic, pretty easy to get down without having to do much of anything, actually. Uh, the second stage of his stuff, after the next cutscene, the mid-fight cutscene, gets a little bit trickier, but still not impossible. Now, to get through this first part really easily, it's really just about baiting him out and then going for easy slams or maybe shots in the back of the head. Now, you can't shoot him in the front because he's going to block it, but you can shoot him in the back. That'll give you nice, free, good, heavy shots, or you can slam him down. Now, I'm going to start this out. First thing you want to do, Go ahead and put on the Ivan mask. This is going to already go ahead and give you just a bunch of free shots. Three free shots, I think, if you're accurate and good. He does this thing right here. So if you can be accurate and shoot well, you got it. So you can even go behind him if you want. You know, if you're not too sure about your accuracy and you want to get those really nice shots in, just, just like that. And then we switch, be sure you don't use your suppressor. I mean, it really doesn't matter at this point in the game. You can go ahead and take it off, because personally, Snake has a cooler face. So I realized I said, oh. Okay, now he's like this. You get even more free shots. And... Just like that. Now... We're already almost through the entirety of his first half of help. You want to make this really nice and easy? He's doing this move because I pulled out a gun. If you don't have a gun, he doesn't do this move that often. But if you have a gun out, he almost always will do this move. And this move will follow, in, I guess it follows metal. Because when you have a gun out, it'll track you. If you don't have a gun out, it's really easy to dodge. So I switched to no gun. Super easy to dodge. Slam him down, roll over him. And just show it again. I take out the gun, he says, he does this move. I just go to his right side, or my right side, his left. And we're already through the first stage. Not a hard fight. Now, you gotta make sure you get the camouflage after this because it's going to completely guide you through this next part. Now this first thing you want to lay down. You're going to dodge those bullets there. Oh, okay. So that, that one's a little bit harder to dodge because it's a uh, three instead of one. It's going back to here, I'm thinking. Uh, don't run into it either. Don't be like me. Oh, down. 
Okay, he's really just going at it this time. When one arm is electrified like it was right there, you can do the whole grab again. But when his whole body is electric, you can't do it. Or when his, none of them is electric, you can grab him. So if he's electric like that, you can't grab him. If one nothing's electric like that, you can grab him. Or if one arm only is electric, you can grab it. Just not from the electric side, perfectly. Come on, Logan. And when he does that move, you can always grab him too. Just stay behind him, otherwise it'll be hard to grab him. That's why I'm kind of leaning towards his backside here. And there we go again. Oh, capture card is lagging. Okay. It's almost dead. Now, just to show it, the reason we saved that fake death pill earlier, let's say you're low on health and so is Wolgan and you really want to just seal this fight right now, right? You're not going to really use this fake death pill at any other point in this. This is the best part, dude. It'll give you a bunch of free hits on him. Just, it'll make him turn around, right? So you use it. He's going to walk up to you. And then he's gonna turn around when you eat the, after that, after he turns around like this, you use the revival pill, and you're back up and ready to go. Now you can go ahead and even line up your shot, because he kind of just stands there for some reason. Then he falls to the ground, take the camo, and before you go on, go ahead and switch out your camo. And Cold War camo. So, that's how you do Volgan nice and easy, even though I messed up at the beginning of the second stage. Not a hard fight to come back from, even. And off we go. Uh, the ladder. Do I not go up the ladder? Oh no, I just wait. <laughs> okay, Volgan's done. Not a hard fight, just simple bait him out and then attack. Just wait till he's not electrified or one arm's electrified or something like that. And just go for the slams. Now here, the reason we put on this Cold War outfit is because they don't shoot the Soviet flag. So if you're facing an enemy, they aren't going to shoot you. Right? Which gives you as much time as you like holding this to shoot whoever you want. Make sure you're using your trains. See? Standing right here. I'm wearing the Soviet stuff. They aren't going to shoot me. See? I can shoot as much as I want. The moment I turn around, that they will shoot. Watch out! So, be sure to abuse this. Because that's what's going to carry you through here. But, aside from this, we're close to the end. Yep. Make sure you're just looking in the way we're going. To watch out for the enemies. Because otherwise you will get shot. Okay. In fact, I'd even recommend, since you have infinite ammo, go ahead and pull out those stun grenades. Make sure you have them out. And go ahead and drop the... <laughs> this, pull this out. In fact, drop this so you don't accidentally use that pistol. Stun grenade. And C3. Okay. This is pretty much what you need. You're... I was going to want this for later, but that's a different thing. And what else? Anything we need from here? This should be it. This will be the what you use for the rest of the game. Make sure you're looking at all sides to avoid getting shot. And honestly, stun grenades work really nicely. I don't know if they work that well. I mean, I can't even see if they work that well. Enjoy the white screen. Shoot how you want. It really doesn't matter as long as you're wearing this. They're not going to shoot you. Did I take them out? Oh, no, they're up there. Make sure you don't use the wrong sniper. I believe they have... Yeah, they have different scopes, so you can kind of tell. This older style one. So the Shago Han here. Not really much to do with it for now. Kind of just watch and see what happens. So just use this camo 
and you'll get through here without any problems, really. Unless you do this and don't look at the enemy who's shooting you. So make sure Soviet flag faces the enemy, American flag facing away from the enemy. And skip through here on the second part. Enemy this is where you want the stunts. Toss that. Stun them. And you're going to want to toss this one right this way. Bounce off, hit that one. Toss one right here. Toss right there. Stuns them all. And now go ahead and pull out either the MK-22 or this one. There's going to be a guy with an RPG up here. Who doesn't seem to shoot you if you haven't done that yet. Okay. Now back to this. Okay, I guess I got it. Oh, don't stun yourself, please. Makes things a lot harder to actually see what you're doing. Way. There we go. Stun grenades are really useful here. Oh, stun. As long as you're facing them, they aren't going to shoot you. But the guys behind you will shoot you. That's why I'm being shot right now. Alright, watch. Face this guy. He has a rocket launcher that will end your entire life if you aren't facing him. Now we're on the runway. The runway, fairly simple. Just, you know, try and aim a little bit. Don't use any weapons you shouldn't on these guys. Make sure you're tranking everyone. If not, stun grenades. But don't use the RPG. At least till the Shago Hod's out. Like, actually, not just over here, but actually out. Go ahead and trank him. Yep. I never claim to be the best shot. Also, why this is a beginner's guide, not meant for people. Those guys with dead eye. Oh. That was nice. Remember, quick reload. You're gonna want to have that going for this entire thing. Just double tapping R2. Like that. Just like that. And shoot. Just double tapping R2. Not that I'm actually even aiming, but just showing what it is. Okay. Just make sure you're facing them and they won't shoot you. There's even a part where you can straight up just put your controller down and relax because you won't get shot. That's how effective using this camo is here, which I think is also why they give it to you here. Alright, Shagohod should be coming up. Yep. Now, make sure you don't blow up any of these guys with the Shagohod. comes and does it for you. You got a second. It's gonna be boosting. Another... Volgan, oh my god. Alright, and when everything's away. Just... Just shoot, square, quick reload. This is how you're going to take out the Shagohod later on, too. This is the best way to do it. Plus, you're also getting the nice chip damage. Oh, I didn't expect that. I... you got to make sure you're shooting the Shagohod, otherwise it will do stuff like that. And you don't want to blow up, because that will make your later job a lot harder. thing because you can't really die on this part if you do this the right way and don't let the shagohot shoot you a lot you'll be fine you don't have to save anytime soon or anytime in between here really the next time you're gonna save is gonna be after the actual shagohot boss after it because 
you really probably won't die if you use the quick reload and just shoot him a lot. Okay, the rail bridge. Make sure, you know, you're quick with this the moment you get on here. If you are on a good shot, or if you're really on a good shot, you can go ahead and save here too. Just shoot all of them. Okay, you can get to shoot this one first. Then I would recommend shooting that one and waiting on this one. And just wait till she gives you the all clear and you see the shaggo hawk go by. There you go. And you did it. Now on to the actual Shaggo Hot boss fight. Okay. Now to do this one, it's really simple. Shoot the drill part right there. Just keep shooting the drill part, don't let him hit you. And when it's like that, Eva is supposed to. She's kind of whack about it sometimes. But she'll drive to the back and then you go ahead and shoot that little square thing back there that's like electrified. Make sure you're shooting the thing. You don't want to end up getting shot by this. Yep. And we're almost actually done with the game. Because after this, it's just one more set of bike stuff, then some sneaking, and then the boss. Uh, Eva, please. Yeah, sometimes Eva just likes to sit, doing nothing. And she says, we got it. Did she say, we got it, or you got it? Either one of them, she didn't do. Whenever you have that like this, he's not gonna attack, so you'll be more safe. Don't shoot when you're too close, otherwise you will go boom. I can't move. Can't move. And make sure double tapping R2 for the quick reload. Just like that. Because taking forever to reload the RPG, watch this. You're not going to have time to do anything and you will get shot. So you need to quick reload. You need to quick reload. So, double tapping R2. I can't stress how important that is. If you manage to get up to here without doing the quick reload, you're not... Eva, back up! Are you trying to blow us up? Okay, now I can't aim. Yep. Come on. Yeah, if you manage to get this far without it, I don't know how... But, congrats, but you will need it a lot more for this one, and I would say you would also need it for the Fury, but if you manage to, you manage to. Hopefully this isn't like, you know, a difficult strat. It's in the manual. <laughs> they call it the Quick Reload or something like that. I have the manual, I could actually go check. This boss fight can take a minute if Eva does not want to cooperate. Or if Volgan doesn't want to cooperate either. Yeah, they just both want to go the same way, so you're kind of just stuck in this loop. Eva, turn around. Okay. Volgan, stay like that. And shoot him. He's almost done. Okay, and it's almost, it's got to be the next hit, right? Right? I would hope. Uh, Volgan, I shot your thing out. Uh, after this, I would recommend saving after you finish this boss fight. Because that... The next part of the Shaggo Hog boss fight can be a little difficult. He's still not dead. Okay, we're good.
So just keep shooting that back part. Keep making sure that treads are out and out of commission so he can't actually use his attack. So he'll be too busy. Now here, go ahead and save. Because it's really easy to mess up on this part. And doing all that again isn't fun. You going to save? Yep. It's really easy to mess up on this part. It's not a hard part. And it takes maybe 20 seconds if you do it quickly and right. But... It's super easy to mess up here, and you don't want that. And here we go. This is potentially going to be your second or third last save. If you're following my saves, that is. If you have your own, you have your own. And... Uh, we're almost there. We're almost in home free. There's still... Good luck. Two and a half hours left of game time we have. Okay, so the way you need to do this, you need to aim a little bit ahead of Vulgan, so you shoot at the treads again, right? The moment you do that, you switch to this, the Moza Nagat. It's a trank sniper rifle, right? And you'll stop, and you pop him in the head, right? And you just gotta do that four times. Right, because now he's gonna be coming for you, so... Do it again. Nope, he didn't let it happen. You gotta do it before he starts shooting at you, otherwise things get difficult. Yep. Again. Yep. And one more time. And Eva, please don't let me just accidentally shoot you. There you go. Done. Easy. It's just you gotta do that because if he starts getting... Like, if you're too slow on that, he'll get into his attack pattern. Also, why was Snake aiming with his eye patch? I can't be the only one who noticed that. Okay, look at the enemies at the back. They won't shoot you. But the way that last fight worked, you gotta be really quickly. Or really quick. You gotta do it really quickly. So that... Volgan doesn't get his attacks off because if he starts getting those attacks off, he'll start shooting missiles at you and you're not going to last long. So you'll have to do it quick and that's why you save beforehand because it's super easy to mess up on that. We're doing alright on time. I can barely see the guys. Oh, we got him though. And. There's gonna be more guys coming up here. Just make sure you're facing them. Might even get a quick shot off. Yep. Take their bikes out. Remember, quick reload is a thing. You can even have Snake try and auto target them. It might work. You never know. Oh, well, it worked. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Rare moments like that I enjoy actually feeling like I can aim. So it's this part, then a quick part after that, and then one more thing and you're done. Make sure you have the SVD because it's going to make shooting at a log up ahead a little easier so you can save on health. Okay, you kind of just can look around here. You'll get shot a bit, but just look around at this car, and you'll be set. Yep. Didn't shoot. <laughs> Maybe took in one hit or something. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Good. It's all good. And we're good. All set. Nice. Nicely done. And just look back here, because this is the worst and the hardest part of this whole thing if you don't have this camo. But because you have this camo, it's super easy, you can just look at them. <laughs> and just hear them say damn it over and over. You get like a, a damn it counter? Damn it. Yep. It's just this. Now, if one of them seems to be shooting you a little bit, you can go ahead and try and pop them really quickly. 
Yep. Because later on they'll get a little bit closer and they'll actually be able to hit you. Yeah, if they get above you or something. Yeah, see, like this one. <laughs> You're just saying, damn it. Okay, come on. He's down. And don't worry, you tranking them like that and them crashing does not count as kills. So, if you're worried about that, don't be. These guys fall, it's on their own thing. You just have to make sure you didn't kill them before they fall and crash. Okay, when Evis is up ahead, it's the log, you pull out the SVD, and hope you can aim. There you go. Then Eva even says, nice, who doesn't want to be complimented by Eva? And see, because otherwise that would all cloud begins too. Alright. And this is the last part of this all. And then we're on the last little bit of sneaking and we're set. And done. Alright. And make sure you turn around. Don't. When you turn around like this, you can literally just put the controller down. You know, go grab a bite to eat, come back later, and you'll be good. Oh, maybe not exactly that, but you can go do something. You just relax while this plays out. See, they aren't doing anything, and you kind of just stay like this most of it. Eventually, you'll have some guys on your left side. Uh, the left side from here, Eva's right, but it's not going to be that much. They're going to end up behind you. So I'm going to go ahead and put my controller down here. Hear this? Controller's down. Let's just watch this, see what happens. I'm also going to put the analog stick so you guys can see it. Nothing going on. I don't know, bold. Bold putting your controller down on European Extreme, right? But trust me, it's not a big deal. Okay, maybe when she says right, you can go ahead and look left, but that's really it. But you, they're gonna end up behind you anyway, so you don't even have to do that if you don't mind taking, like, a little bit of damage. And... Now you can turn back. And just wait. Eva's gonna do the cliff jump, and you're set. These guys have to be bad. Here comes the jump. Yep. Hold on tight! Hold on tight to what? Yeah. Tire? Oh my god, they all died. What do you think of that? And now we're done here. Okay. So this next part is your next potential save. If you want to. Don't have to, it's very doable just following what I do if you do this. Go ahead and skip through this and heal you and Eva up. You gotta heal yourself up first because it will automatically change the cutscene or whatever when Eva has her thing. You don't even have to heal yourself heal yourself that much. Just put a bandage and put a bandage in. It'll auto heal auto heal after you get into the main thing. Yep. And copy that. Now go heal Eva. If you want to just save time, it's gonna heal for you eventually. Okay. See? Slowly going down. Don't have to worry about any call. Get these rations, just cause Eva... I don't know why Eva eats so much, but... Jeez, she just takes all your food. Okay, I believe there's a snake here somewhere you can also kill. Um... Yeah, right here. So, get the snake. You're gonna feed that to Eva later too. And now you just go this path. I would also recommend going ahead and changing your camo. Because this is not the best camo, if I'm being honest. You want to change in something a little bit nicer or cooler or whatever you want to do, feel free to. Personally, the spirit camo is always pretty cool. Plus, it's silent footsteps and all. So the spirit camo you got from the sorrow by reaching the end of his stuff is what I'm using. And go through here. 
cutscene plays. And now here's where the guards come in and it gets a little bit tricky if you don't exactly know what to do. What you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to here, this, this tree. Call Eva over. And those stun grenades I was talking about before. Gonna chuck one over. The moment you see anyone. And now you run this way. Uh, run the way you can see. See, they're over there, so I, I took a left. And now they're dealing with that. Zip. So, they know you're close. It's gonna be a little bit difficult if you aren't fast. So, just keep following the path. Eva's following behind you. Go ahead and get these fruits. Just so Eva, stamina and all. Go here. Eva's gonna follow you. Go across this. Hopefully I explained that right, right. So when you throw the stun grenade, you take a left and just keep following this path. And you'll reach here. You just have Eva follow you the whole way through. Stick to the back over here. Now, sometimes there might be a guard in that area if you're slow or something on this, but nine times out of ten, it's not going to happen. So you kind of just stick to the back of here, just in case, and walk to this edge over here. So, just wait for Eva, and you're good. You're golden. And make sure you have your silencer equipped for the MK-22 for this next part. She does take her sweet time, though. And good to go. To the next area. After this area is the final boss. Okay, so this part is a lot trickier. First thing you need to do, you need to crawl down, or lay down and crawl, because they will see you because there's a lot more guards. If you were to save anywhere, this is a good place to do it so you don't have to redo anything. Oh, make sure, yep, I did have to redo this, get back here, go ahead and trank everyone. You want to get everybody to sleep. Yeah, they're gonna freak out. No, he isn't. You also gotta be kind of a quick shot at times. Especially at times where they're coming at you like this. Like that, yeah, see? He would have seen me if he got a little bit closer. Or if he looked a little bit more, so. It's good that we got him there. He gave us a nice clean opening for a headshot. As of right now, it's not too bad. It's just this one guy. And then I believe we can move on. Huh? Nope, it's two guys. Right, now, let's take out this one. Okay. Just, uh... Yeah, I think that's all of them. It's, what, one, two, three. That's like six guards, five guards. One, two, three, four, five. We have five guards here. Okay, Eva's too tired to move. Go ahead and give her some food. That's why we got all that food before. So give this to Eva. This tastes like crap. Now give this to Eva. So she'll walk at least a bit. Can I have seconds? Okay, we're good to go. Now get Eva. Tell her to come with us. Press the triangle. And you just take this left over here. That's what you want to go. And you're pretty much going to use this top part here as a vantage point to be sniping everyone with your pistol. Which I do wish we had more ammo for. You could probably pick up those guards if you're low on ammo. But it's really up to you. More or less, we're going to try and do the boss with a lot of CQC if possible. If not, we also do have the this Trank Sniper from the end. Okay, so 
I should have said this before. Go ahead and get the thermals out again. And use them. Go up to the edge and watch out for that guy if you go too far down. Oh, your camo isn't too good here, so just in case, go ahead and put on something a little bit nicer. Go put the sneak suit on because you're going to have to change into the sneak suit before you fight the boss. So, sneak suit on. This is at least some camo. Go ahead and L2 and R2 for the uh, tiptoes. That's one guy. And watch out for them all. There's this guy too. There's even a guy who lays in the grass. He's down. There's this guy here. Watch out for him. And down he goes. I can't tell. Is that a guy? Is that a guy? Uh, yeah, these are guys. Okay, so line it up carefully. Take him out. That is not a guy. Is that a guy? It's not a guy either. Okay. Should be good to just fall down. The other guys on that side shouldn't see you, so you stick to the left side here, right? You stick to this side, uh, this side here. And be sure you tell Eva to come down. Yep. She'll drop down, you stick to this left side. Just make sure. You know. What is that? Oh, it's a plant. Okay. Eva. Get her coming here with you. And here you are at the boss. Made it to the end of the game. Congratulations. Now here comes probably the toughest boss in the game. But for good reason. It's the boss. And that's why we're wearing the sneak suit. The sneak suit will half the damage, making our job a lot nicer and easier. Or at least more doable. Okay. And here's where you're going to save after this cutscene's done. You and the boss both in your sneaking suits. Just works out nicely. It was November. Then, early in the 20th right. Let's see. Before she sees what you're made of, go ahead and do this. Okay. Save. You going to save? You are going to save. And this may take me a few tries, so if I load back in here, you'll know why. <laughs> the boss is not an easy fight. So, you're pretty much going to be using the counterattacks and then the slams on the boss. Which is, pretty much you'll hear like a grunt from Snake as a sound cue, and that's when you press circle. And you also move the analog stick. We'll see how it's done real quick. I'll explain it as I go. Hopefully it makes sense, and hopefully I can make it make sense enough. But we are currently doing really well in terms of getting Fox out. Good luck. Oh. Thanks. Okay, the boss. Let's this fight, I'm just going to go ahead and stop and explain it, right? This fight is not an easy fight, okay? That's why you save before this, because this fight can screw you easily. If you're at this low, you know, small bar of health, it maybe takes two, three of the boss's slams to completely put you out of commission. So, here's how this one works, right? You're going to mostly be doing CQC against the boss, and it's a little tricky to get the timing down, but it's not based off of anything the boss does. It's based off of Snake. So, Snake is going to give a little sound cue when you got to hold circle. So the way you counter the boss, and you do a counter attack on the boss, is you hold circle button when Snake makes a grunting noise. So when Snake makes a grunting noise when the boss is coming at him, that's when you hold the circle button. 
And what that's going to do, it's going to counterattack, and it's going to leave the boss wide open for you to go ahead and do your own slam, or even maybe switch to one of these guns and shoot her from there. But preferably the slam, because then you can also shoot her when she's on the ground. So after you do that, after you do the slam and she's on the ground, you run away. But let's say, you know, you maybe are off with the timing or something, right? That's why when you do the circle hold, when you hold circle, you're also going to want to rotate your left analog stick. So you rotate the left analog stick as much as you can, right? While you're holding circle. So what that will do is if you're off with your timing on the boss, it's going to let Snake break free from her grasp, right? So let's say you do it too early and the boss grabs you, right? You rotate circle, and that's going to go ahead and let Snake get out of there quicker. Or he's going to get out of there before he gets slammed, right? And then you can go ahead and switch to the Sig Gas Spray. Spray her in the face. It'll take a little bit of her stamina gauge, and you can run away and regroup, right? So you're going to be relying on the CQC. When she comes at you, Snake's going to make a grunting sound. You're going to hold circle, and then it'll counterattack. She'll be open. You slam her. Or you mess up on the circle. You have the whole rotating the analog stick going anyways because you do that along with the circle. Snake breaks free. You spray her in the face with the SIG gas. Now, let's say you tried both of these for like a solid half hour. You just can't get the hang of it. It's really tough. There is another way to do it. You can go ahead and put on some better camo than what you're wearing right now and stay far away from the boss hiding behind the trees and everything peeking out with the sniper this one specifically the trank sniper you peek out with sniper using l2 and r2 wall using r1 to aim peek out with the sniper shoot her in the head when you have an opening and that's another way to do it that way works too it's a little bit trickier you gotta have good camo you gotta have decent camo and be a decent shot from at least far away it's gonna be a little bit trickier but it is easier than getting the timing if you're not great at the timing aspect of the CQC stuff so that's another way you can do it it works it's personally just up to how you want to do it I like the CQC way I'll show you how I do it here <coughs> snake made the grunting sound I held circle, he did a counterattack, I slam her down, go ahead and shoot her in the face, and I shoot her in the face twice, and I dip. I'm gone. And we hide. And now when she runs away, you can run after her, and next time she sees you, she will... Here I come. Yep, I messed up on the timing, so I rotate the analog stick change the spray and spray her and then I run see I messed up on the timing I did too early so I rotated the analog stick a lot snake got out and then I switched to the sig spray and sprayed her right now what was I saying before but okay yeah if the boss you know she runs away and you follow her or she sees you when she's pretty close to you found you Yep. Snake made the grunting sound, and I timed it with the circle button. Go ahead and shoot her in the face. The boss gonna shoot her one or two times that she shoots. Brace yourself. Or not. Yep. Oh. Uh, I messed. Oh no, I got it. Okay. And down she goes. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Wait, five minutes already? I don't even remember fighting her that long. I think I was in the me- Oh, yeah, don't let her shoot you, otherwise that can happen. If you go near her, like what I've been trying to say, after she does her shooting thing, she'll come at you like this, and then you can go ahead and bait her out for the counterattacks instead. If that works for you, better. Yep. So go ahead, hide behind something. You can go wait to bait her out even. Where is she? Oh, yep. 
follow her. She'll see you and then it's a bait out. Yep, counter again. And... Okay, the next slam is gonna finish her off. Just timing with the baiting and the slam. So whenever you hear Snake Grunt, you hold the circle button. Yep. Counterattack and slam. And don't forget to grab the camo because if you miss it, you're not gonna be able to get it till you beat the game again. And that is the Foxhound run. Done completely. I don't know why five minutes went by so quick. I think it's because I had R2 down while talking, but okay. And we enjoy the end of the game. Oh, sort of. There's only room for one boss and one snake. Ugh. We still gotta skip through these cutscenes because time, even though I haven't, you know. Okay, so Ocelot here, both of these, you can choose whichever you want, but I believe if you choose the right one, you get to keep the gun at the end of the game. Oh my god, Ocelot, don't rush me. But if you choose the right one, you get to keep it at the end of the game, or for the new game plus. Now, the right one I don't think actually works. Yeah, nope, he has the right one. You can also just not shoot. There's a lot of different things you can do here that give you different cutscenes, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So if you like watching the cutscene, feel free to. But we're done. We have to watch the credits, and then we get our ranking. Well done. Yep. Took us under three hours actually to do this, but after these credits, it'll be over three hours. And I mean, no need to save here, you'll get another chance to save after, you know. Though I'm gonna save anyways. And when this opens up, let's see what our end game time was. I believe this is. Yeah, this isn't a bad end game for it. it should be about 250, I mean. 251, probably. So for a beginner's guide, you have about two hours of leeway. Two hours of spare time, you can do whatever else you want to. If you want to take a little bit longer in some places, you're more than welcome to. You have the time to do it. I don't know why I'm still skipping cutscenes. We're definitely meeting the whole under five hours goal. And credits. Well, way to fall, please. So 
So, now that we're done, we're gonna see the whole ranking and all. And I'll talk to you guys then. Enjoy the credits. So, you've got a way to fall. They'll tell you where to go. But they won't know So You'd better take it all They'll tell you what they know But they won't show got a way to kill they're picking on you still but they don't know so you'd better wait to shine they'll tell tell you where to go but they won't know
Yes, Grozny Grad and the Granin Research Facility have both been wiped out without a trace. I understand, sir, but they were necessary sacrifices. Yes, the CIA has taken care of the boss themselves. I believe the White House will be satisfied. Khrushchev is finished. Your time has finally arrived. Yes, the American president is relying on us to keep a lid on the whole affair. We've got him by the balls. It should make a valuable trump card in future negotiations. Yes, Chief Director, of course. I'll keep the KGB informed. Yes, it's me. The boss has accomplished her mission. The philosopher's legacy is now safely with us, in America's hands. With this money, yes, the philosophers can finally be revived. The film we handed the Chinese was a fake. Peking must be in an uproar right about now. I'm afraid so. Only half the money has made it back to the United States. The KGB must still have part of the legacy. Yes, the weapon has been reduced to ashes. That's right. Grozny Grad has been obliterated by the Davy Crockett we brought in as well. Yes, that was the boss's work, too. Speaking of which, I've obtained something from Granin that you might find interesting. It's a revolutionary new nuclear attack system. Perhaps it might just come in handy someday. Yes, we have John, I mean Snake, to thank for that. Khrushchev believed it as well. Yes, they bought our story. I don't think they'll be making a fuss. The secondary alert has been lifted as well. And the Soviets still haven't discovered my true identity. They have no idea that I've been triple crossing them. I will continue my activities as a contact for the new government. Yes, it appears that no one knew that I was Adam. Of course, I am always at the CIA's disposal, Mr. Director. And on to the ranking. There it is. Foxhound. Three hours, one minute, one second. 18 saves, more like 17 because we aren't really going to count that last save there. Zero continues, zero alert phases, zero people killed. I was seriously injured 14 times. One life bar of damage, no life medicine used. 15 plants and animals captured, 17 meals eaten, no special items used. This was the Foxhound Beginner's Guide. That is your way to getting a nice quick and easy foxhound ranking on metal gear solid 3 snake eater you just have to know a few strategies here and there of course there was the quick reload that you have to know there was the silent running with the grenades those are the only two major things aside from that it's pretty standard um and hopefully I explained everything well. If I didn't, just comment down on anything you're confused on and I'll try and clear it up. Or if you have a question for something else regarding this Foxhound run or a Foxhound run you're doing, or maybe you just want a little bit of advice on a different type of thing you're doing with MGS3 or potentially any of the other MGS games, I do know those fairly well as well. 
just go ahead and comment it and I will do my best to reply in the best way I can with everything all said now if you have not liked the video already why not like it and subscribe aside from that I'm gonna be mostly on Twitch doing my own thing hopefully maybe some of you who see this maybe end up there but here we are with Foxhound. It's been done. And our other rewards. Single action army for picking the right one. The Patriot. Stealth camo for Foxhound. Brown face paint. Infinity face paint for Foxhound. All these face paints. The tuxedo. Download camo. Desert tiger camo. Flectarn camo. And save.